go. Uh, it's the Shang Tsung, you know, character that we really don't see a lot even in the online battles. And then, of course, Johnny Cage. And then, like you mentioned, Chameleon being that cameo that's been up on the rise and one of the stronger ones in the meta at the moment. Please, did he just wake up with Claw? Okay, Wolverine, my fault, my fault. You've been watching a little bit too much X-Men 97, apparently. Oh, Brown House. It's been really good. I have good. not watched it at all. <laughs> You're someone give me their, um, yeah, someone oh. needs to give me their good old... um. The password for Disney, I will much appreciate it. Oh my god, try to go for punish. You just might as well go for Shadow Kick at that point. Shoulder makes it plus. I like it, I like it. Yeah, I do agree with you on the Shadow Kick. It looks like B-Wood's missing opportunities. There is that parry, though, that was mm. very delayed. Even though Will Fight Your Kids saw it and chose to go with the high. You're gonna get the safe jump in and then open up once more because that is still your turn when you're Johnny. That's going to be a punch into another safe jump. And again, this is going to be full on combo thanks to that comp ton of fan lift. And the down Ooh. one ender. That stance was right there. I think he tried to go for Shadow Kick into the stance, uh, into the height meter build, but he actually missed the Shadow Kick. Got a random sh uh, stance switch right there to show off, but right now, <laughs> this man Will is fighting his way in the corner, but it's not looking too good. Oh, wait, he switches out. All right, he's walking back. I like that. Doesn't want to deal. Still out that is going to be punishing the ice armor, so ice armor is already away, which is interesting because you wouldn't really want to see ice armor on something except for chameleon's glaives. But you know, once again, she's not really zoning or using uh, being used as zoning. We're going to see the Johnny kick actually go under and get the side switch. Ghost of Sweep right there, that's what a great distance. I didn't even know that, but gets the back though. Are we going to you going to press the offensive? Oh, yes, you are. No, you're going to back up once again. Oh, misses it. A lot of highs getting whipped. Uh, but the fan combo also dropping here. But still, Bluebeewood's actually sitting in a really nice position, playing really great defense. Great throw tech right there to actually push off Will Fight Your Kids. Finally starting up on a combo. Gonna keep it simple, though, and switch back to Young Man Shang. Oh, yeah, trying to the young version of himself. But no, he misses the throw, gets the armor through this time around. Beat Woods, good luck, work your way in. Because this man's going to create a minefield. However, all you need is one shadow kick, that's all it takes. However, if Luca says, you did not press a button. Ooh. That's just. Oh. <laughs> no, he gets caught. That might be it if you spin the bar. That should be it, actually. Mm -hmm. I keep a restart too. And goes for the throw, the back throw at that into the brutality. Shane is split in two. You know. We got multi dimensions here, so it makes sense it's two versions of himself, but not. I, I don't think it was in this way, Saki. I don't think it was in this way. Yeah, it was definitely not in the way that we would have wanted to see for Will Fight Your Kids. B Wood, though, coming out on top. I think the only feedback I really have for B Wood in this match is uh, be a little more confident in your Johnny kicks. You're definitely close enough to get that reversal Johnny kick uh, off a of block from uh, the ground Johnny eruptions. Kick. And as for Will Fight Your Kids, uh, I do, I did anticipate a change because it did seem like Shang was not a comfortable pick, probably more of a feeler to just see how B Wood would have been playing. I don't know how, and I think the, this Liu Kang pick is actually going to be the if one that I might make the difference here and challenge B Wood's Johnny. Definitely so, definitely so. Like I said, he does have a Shao also, but I think he wants to avoid that since B Wood also plays Shao, and that's a character he's most likely familiar with. I think he, what are you trying to go for like that? Don't know, but the armor through. Oh no, drops it. Tries to go for grab too early. Oh, oh god. Are you blocking that online, Tento? Are you See, me personally, I'm just turning off my console because I'm not dealing with it. Mm. <laughs> Makes it sometimes too much. Ooh, tried to go. Whoa, didn't get the punish he wanted. Gets the Chicago punish. Will, you staying true to your roots. I'd love to see it, but not right now. But wait a second, the overhead. Oh. Getting the full combo off these though right after that. We don't get the uh, Molina size extender. And then B Wood, again, dropping a lot of combos between these two, but it's been B Wood who's been able to get out of these scrambles. I guess it's with that words. Put 4 4, but gets thrown right afterwards. The gate knows plus frame. I mean, sorry, those uh, negative frames. Antis? Yeah. I can't be jumping for free, young man. If you can't up block, it's anti air. Round two. No, a block is a mechanic. Some people are questioning, you know? Like, um, I, that's exactly why I mentioned it, Tent. I'm so glad you caught on right there. <laughs> because um, apparently it's um, a little too strong. Mm. I'm sorry, Tekken Master. That was the most horrible take you've ever had in your life. I'm going <laughs> to keep it a book. I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it at all. That was like the worst thing you could possibly put out there. Like, why would you even assume? Hey, never mind. Try to. Please. 
try to uh, anti-air Johnny jump kick. I, I want to see you do it in the wise words, words of Mighty Unjust. Gets the fourth throw. Oh my <laughs> god, his head! No up block there could have stopped that overhead, but we're gonna go into fatal. As that's actually gonna not catch the fatal blow armor. This is a little bit of a last chance effort for Will to try to get out of this corner, reset the neutral, and get also some damage in. Thankfully, this is gonna be a hard knockdown right after this dragon blast. And then here, we should be able to see a jump in. No parry is gonna catch that though. But the forward forward that throws the overhead, but it may be safe. It is not your turn still. So you're gonna have to play a little bit more defense and go with the back and forth guessing game there. Yeah, minus two on that overhead, but you saw Will right there. Actually tried to back dash away, but you know, Johnny's um that knee, that that four three, that buttons Ooh. that's been there for years, it's it's it's, it's gonna catch you. <laughs> Every single time. You think you're like, oh, I'm gonna not be in the way. I could down one. No. Never challenge Johnny's mid, but we do get the general shout that you did mention that that is the pick for Will here. Uh, has been trying to avoid the shout pick from the beginning, and I think it's mostly because sometimes when you fight someone who also knows your character, you can't get away with some of the gimmicky stuff, you know? Yeah, definitely couldn't. You can't get away with murder all the time. You gotta go with some, some crazy stuff that you probably they haven't seen before because you know the character knows each other in and out. But... Three characters is already switching to Seth from Will, and this is the character he's going to be locking to his main being Shao with Sector on the side. This might be a little interesting to see what he does. I feel like the Sector pick, uh, mostly because that missile is very deceiving, but we get a flawless block at the end. But Hello? a lift over, over, oh sorry, high launcher is not going to catch B Wood, who is doing a down one in low profile. Yeah, looking. Look at that knee. Oh my God, the overhead coming through. Two, one, two, and getting this man in cojones once more. Yeah, you're not having no kids, my boy. Beautiful blocks here from Bewick, reading Will like a book, and already on potential set point thanks to that round. Oh my God, wait! I think it was too many plus frames right there, but makes out the knee once more, and oh my goodness, B Wood is having the time of his life in the corner. Madam Bo in the background don't even know what's going on. All he knows is this man Johnny is doing too much work. The sweep. Oh, he can be with him. I just love Fourth this from B Wood, just walking up, challenging. But there's the sector launcher that should start up some good damage here for Will. He's gonna get the down two and Axless Shao as well. But oh. Harry, that is not what you wanted to be doing there. B Wood's gonna get the full off these here in this corner. The nut punch and just walk up. Called out the down two. Did you see that? Oh, he did. He, micro he did not micro duck after the stand two from coming out of Will Fight Your Kids. And that is gonna be B Wood taking it 3 0 over the man Shao. That was that was such a good go for it rather than go for like a scorpion or even chameleon to amplify damage. So this is gonna be quite an explosive match between the two. Dare I say this is actually his best cameo. I first discovered this cameo against one of my good friends Waffles of GGA. Big shout out to Waffles, best smoke in MK9. And I played him in combat league and I was like, oh my god, smoking sector is actually the dumbest thing and people do not realize why. Because a lot of people still don't know. Oh my god, that would punch is crazy. You can call the, uh, the, the sector missile in front or behind whatever you want. It doesn't have to be like on like with an extra bar. No, you can choose to uh, do it in front of a high, which means they have to think when they're gonna uh, press a button when the string advances or not. It's actually kind of insane. So um, I'm glad that people are starting to pick up this character. But this man is a blind man with a sword. Um, how are you not killing him? He has nothing. He doesn't have he a ghost. He has a sento that's in No, there's no down. ghost now. Okay, now the ghost. But now he's back. You see? Ah! This is why you cannot call things Tento. You curse you curse it too much. There goes the ghost. And you have Sento already applying the plus string. That is still Sento bar all the way, and it was Red Nose's game. Yeah, that you was the blue man group. Sento. I didn't cause anything. Sento caused that. Blue man group came out and made beast speech for that boy tragic of STG. That rocket hit where? <laughs> Right behind too, because you can tell that Kenshi then auto turned after the the after he got hit by the missile. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, get stabbed like that hard yeah. knockdown. Plus frames immediately. Hey, y'all better stop with that, brother. Like y'all better get off me. I love the movement from Red Nose. It's back dashing very quickly. You can see like these micro dashes forward does get the overhead. 
I'm simply waiting, calling out tragic. I'm almost trying the challenge. There goes the back one, but Sector comes in with the first breaker. I like the break three immediately. Oh, no, he gets under. This is so bad. Actually, he's dead. It's over. It's over. It's actually done. Yep, it's actually that's, over. That's exactly what we needed. That overhead, and then you get your armor broken. Those kicks do multiple damage, so you, the armor doesn't go into play. Great block. Sento is on cooldown, and now it's going to finally disappear. Now it's just a little bit of patience here for Red Ghost. Does try to anti air. But unfortunately, it gets opened up and we're going into the Fatal Blow. Well, that's a rock. Dude. I don't know if uh, Sub-Zero got hit or what, but hey, I like him not to break his red nose. Going to take all this damage. Not going to kill, but man, this is a decent chuckle. Bro, his eye's already gone. Why would you... Okay, never mind. Gets the mash. Go to the back. Oh, that's it. Mmm. And then freezes him too? Oh my god, that's your brother, bruh. Actually, you say he was adopted. Never mind. Get him out of here. Sub Zero's the one sibling in the family that actually tells Thomas, You're adopted. Dad never yeah. loved you. Yeah, Sub Zero's definitely the middle child. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> definitely the middle child. And then Silk is just like, I, I didn't do anything and did yep. everything. Smoke can it's always Smoke's fault. Come on now, Sasuke. I mean, Spider-Man. I mean, Smoke. Come on now, lock in. He went through like three characters there, Tetsuya. You know, the voice actors are all the same, and they kind of confuse me at times. It hurts me. It hurts me a lot. Oh, the rocket's negated, and oh my god. Ice negates the rocket. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? That was actually such a smart play there from Red Nose, and... Again, we're in the Sento sandwich right now. There's really not much tragic can do except play defense. Oh, it's opened up by the low. That's a perfect opportunity as well to charge up Sento. And again, apply these plus frames. You literally cannot do anything except just play defense and either try to challenge the gap, but there's not really much of a challenge because again, of those kicks, blocks the overhead, and you're gonna have to hold for this grab. That, just that was a flawless, damage. brother. Like what? That 2v1 was insane. He got chipped out the corner the entire time. He couldn't do anything. Me personally, I didn't pay $60 to hold R1, but apparently this guy did. Oh God, he's mixing. Red Nose definitely didn't pay $60. <laughs> Getting hit all the way here. There goes that down one. Going for the ender of the special for Red Nose. And full screen just dashing a little bit. Gets opened up by the overhead. We're gonna have to use Breaker there. I like that break for Red Nose. He doesn't want to get in movements and started from Tragic. And he feels like he can salvage this round, which he can, but he can't be grabbing like that. Oh my god, that look is almost terrible. Oh, it's the low. It gets the launch too. In the slight back dash so we can get the combo. That was so good, tragic. Mm -hmm. Hard knockdown. Into another rocket. Oh yeah. Sub Zero can't save you this time, buddy. Knockdown. Not gonna kill, but chip should be the issue. Oh, it's gonna be a punish. That was a that was like a last ditch attempt to try to get an opening. Um, or even try to catch Tragic there, but Tragic is playing some defense here. Mi the Sector Missile actually looking completely, and then gets a back throw. Yeah, like that Red Nose right there, recognizing that, um, that the missile is still coming, so he made sure he advanced forward so it did not hit him the way the Sector gets to the low on the other side. Good blocks, but no, can't block forever, did not get the overhead part of the string, and now he's getting mixed one more time. It's not looking good. Tragic, he needs one hit. Well, yeah, you're actually right. One hit, because Smoke does crazy amount of damage. One hit and a dream almost for Tragic here. Great, great block. That is a punish. And because the Sub-Zero Ice Armor was put on before the missile came out. That was going to be one anti-air. I like that jump. I like that jump back. You still got a chance to work with this. What do you do? Goes to the other side. The missile's still there. He gets the overhead. Wait a minute. One more mix is all it is. And Sinto's about to go away. Hold on. You wouldn't wake up with shoulder, would you? No. Ooh. Or with Finn. Didn't do anything afterwards, though. Yeah, I think Tragic was uh, a little bit wary, just not confident in that with Punish. And I think that was the perfect opportunity to just play defense here, play your movement game. Smoke being one of the best whip punishers in the game. Beautiful flaws block gets thrown though. That's a back throw, 10 seconds on the clock. Tries to go mm. for a throw here, unfortunately Tragic is the one who's gonna back be able up. to accomplish it. Fatal blow, beautiful block. 
And that is it there. Tragic wonderfully playing here. Into the brutal, too. Oh, wait, wait. Why are you even looking around? You can't even see the mountain. He's dead. Actually, when he has the sword, he technically can see. Smoke wins. You're right. I'm being too mean to this blind dude. He's dead, by the way. <laughs> Not want to do much after that. That oh. is too funny. Now, one to one is now the score. Red Nose, you do got a Johnny. Don't bring it out, though. It's kind of crusty. Who's kidding? Uh, oh, the Cyrax pick. You oh, see, I love, I, I actually am a fan of Red Nose and Cyrax. Uh, believe it or not. I feel like this combo is very cheap simply because of the fact that you can just bring out Sento. Um, after helicopter, and your opponent really can't do anything but hold that block. Oh no, that's a punish! Oh, and we oh got air combos. Yo, what have you seen? Tenchi take combos? the air. I know. That's crazy. That's gonna eat your armor. Don't even try to waste your bar right there. You gotta I like that poke that. a lot, poke actually. Blocks, puts his toes back, and oh, you thought it was your turn. No, sir. The blue man group is back, and we make a beat speech of STG. Never mind. He switches positions. Rockets out. Oh, he just backs up. You won't waste central time as long as you can. Why would you? Oh, no. Don't get hit. Oh, no. That's so unfortunate. He's dead. That red nose cleaning it up. Yeah, that block was very unfortunate, and I don't think Tragic expected it to happen. I, I think it was because Tragic hit Sento first before hitting Kenshi. Moving right now, red nose. Try to mount his offensive. Tragic really just trying to back up, wait for Sector Missile to come back before he tries to go back in. That's the biggest thing right now, and especially because he doesn't have Sub Zero anymore. Oh, he's whiffing. That's gonna be a big punish. Red nose has his headbreaker though. Decides not to use it. Wait for the next guest. Oh, I can't see a thing. Oh, he just saw him. Oh. There goes the Cyrax, and that's gonna still lead to a clean sense of call out. Great block. Nice the anti air. What's up? Oh no. oh no. This ain't depth, but this, this position is bad. Oh, it's done. You can chip him out. It's actually over. Yeah, you can take okay, the block. Yup. Oh no, his head. Jesus Christ. Did he just bow him before he left? It's crazy. Yeah, you gotta get that respect, Tento. Listen, if you do not bow before and after the match, you are dishonoring. I'm not even giving a handshake. I'm just walking out. Say less. That's crazy. You're disrespectful, Tento. What they gonna do? Be like, go on Twitter. I'm gonna twit longer, Tento. He did not bow to me. Oh, that sucks, and bro. not shake my hand. Poor sportsmanship. Hold that. <laughs> Literally, who is going to stop me? I am salty <laughs> human being. Call me the Pacific Care Ocean. Money where that mouth is? Salty. Okay. Don't want to deal with it. <laughs> Can I get a hug after you're you're you're, you're not salty? Is, is that is that on the board? Or I will forever it, it, it hold the no badgies. It, 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 it might be it might be bad games for good. What the hell was that combo? I don't think Kenji even knows how he wanted to be on, but the switch from Scorpion is actually really gonna be clutch. Why? Because that means he gets to just take some weight out of danger and he gets a full combo like this. A A I think That's for for like maybe like reg like probably two in minimum one bar, you're getting you're gonna get like 35% thanks to that scorpion um, assist there. So this is a great pick too for tragic and like you said that spear. But let's see if Red Nose, who is already gonna go ahead and start up pressure thanks to the Cyrax helicopter and Sento back on the field. Oh no, it's punished recovered in time. Sento's back in place, still got a timer for one more mix, but no, he's out of there. But he still got he still actually scraped Scorpion a little bit. That's crazy. Sento's gone. You guys are right back. Red Nose. Trying to call out some of these shimmies here. 
Not gonna go for any challenges. Waiting patiently. What a call out though. Thanks to that back mid. And then we have the Cyrax bomb and another stake setup for Tento, which is exactly what Red Nose wanted. And we did see the Fear try to come into play, but there was just no help to stop that. Definitely was not help at all. And he was trying to he really did try to pull himself away, but one thing that's really been kids tragic also, you can't flawless block in between those uh, strings that Kenshi is doing. And, and Red Nose is recognized that he's not flawless blocking, which is why he's been just chipping this man's life away, not even going for mix. And Tragic is playing so much help for away because of it. Wait a second. He blesses this man's head. He finished out the prayer. Oh my gosh. Yup, that was 38%. Beautiful stuff. Usually we would just see the hard knockdown at the end of the one frame length, but. This was pure damage, and then now he's gonna get opened up, though, thanks to that low mix up string and Sento just going out. And Red Nose following up. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Oh no, this could be in. This can be over. Nice. Gets out of there. And puts him to up. Ooh, the oh, it's Shimmy. There. The what? Oh, wait a second, it's the armor. Goes the overhead, goes to the other side, switches around. Oh, it has to break that. Griffin's out of play, but if he gets one more hit. Again, right now, so I need to block all of these. Doesn't want to challenge too early. Then get oh, grabbed for it. Wiggle buttons gets the overhead, and wait a minute, Tragic stays alive for one more round. I am everywhere. Final round. Fight! Plus frames off of the kick, but a beautiful challenge, and now that's gonna use Breaker there for Tragic. Pretty good Breaker too as well, it's early, and can build up those three bars again before the end of the round if uh, the management is there. Here's the anti-air, but not gonna be able to get it. Mm, and this is where Tragic is starting to read. Tragic is starting to read that he's blocking everything, so I gotta start throwing this man. Yes, grip him up. Grip him up. Never mind. Not looking too good for you, brother. Great decision there from Red Nose to actually not summon Senso after that. Instead, using the, summoning Senso now as we close down on the corner. And again, another block here, and that's going to create the Senso sandwich. Something that Tragic did not want to happen. And again, these kicks, you cannot use your armor breaker there as those kicks are multiple. And Red Nose knows it. Beautifully done, taking it. To I, can, I think that that's been the best solid. And by the way, we're going to have Pure versus Ludi, but. Uh, I think that Tento, you just said something that I really hope gets heard because that was probably the best description of how they could give light to a really good universe. Wait, Piers on Katana? Oh god, okay. Apparently! <laughs> <laughs> what the- wait, no, no, no! Why did they whip? Why did they whip? Why did they whip? Hey, look at this damage, by the way. I'm not kidding. Look at the damage. I'm not kidding. Look at the damage. 428. The throw a kill. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. With only one, what, one bar that was for that? Mm -hmm. So yeah, most definitely. Good stuff there from here. Really challenged Ludi um, in these moments. We are seeing the Chameleon, which is interesting uh, for Ludi. Yeah, that mix is definitely gonna be available. Oh my God, got smacked with the godlike jump coming out of Ludi. And guess what? That means float combo for days. Shine on the princess. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's your daughter. That's your daughter. Yo, chill. Look at him. Ooh, that was very nice. We got the Adinian Glass to get uh, switch over to the uh, Chameleon side to get uh, most li more than likely the Jade Blade again. Great block, and it comes back just in time. Looney reading pure like a book and getting all of the damage possible with the throw as the ender to clear out the round. Right back at you. One round to one round. Domination on both ends, but only one can prevail. We're going to find out who it's going to be. Now, it's really interesting to see about Katanas. A lot of Katanas will throw out a string into that overhead fan just to see what you do about it. And a lot of characters have to realize what they can do to punish that. Like with Raikou, you gotta slide it. So as you see right there, Raikou, you gotta slide it. Lou, you gotta back to it. Melino gotta ball roll it. So it's always important to not, not allow your um, your characters to let them get away with that for free. You gotta be in the air. Ugh. He tried to time that air combo so he could stay in the air so Jack would hit him with that ground bound. I saw it. I saw it. Through the corner, and we have the left shaker here to try to counter it. I see what you mean mm. here. I, I'm not too sure what Sindel could do in those um, moments. More than more so because she doesn't really have that 
forward advancing move except for her overhead. Overhead? Okay. Yeah. Tries to go avoid the jacks. Still gonna get hit by the fan. Oh, right over Melina too? That was crazy. Like, legit. Right over Melina Balro. Yeah, the only thing I can think she could do in that moment is probably overhead. I think it pushes her far away from it just enough. But, man. Yeah. That's the thing, right? Because, like, uh, you mentioned Slide, uh, I, Melina's ball roll. Nataru's back forward, too, is another one as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's just one of those, like, you have to have that forward advancing move to get you out of those overheads. And I think that's why this matchup can be a little bit tricky. I do like the Kung Lao pick because I think that's going to help with the close-up situations. Uh, unfortunately, with Chameleon, the timer and switching between those three variations is a little too uh, tight to work with. And when you really need a specific disguise, it's just not going to be there unless you're constantly managing. Is over a throw? Did he do the wrong version? Or did it just actually go? Oh, no, I'm not even gonna talk about it. Who does it again? Tries to go for Shimmy with the salt shaker, but not gonna work out. I like to throw once more. Oh, caught him out the air. Oh, this ain't good. Look at the damage on this. Gonna spend jacks? No, just gonna cash out with 36. Well, I was walking to avoid the chip. And there is that overhead that's closer. What an anti-air. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ooh. Oh my god. Launch. Beautifully done. Oh, I like that. Get Jax out of here. Mm, I don't this think the down pure. field will be far enough to reach. Oh, there's the up block. And we stopped the uh, ambush cameo as well. It was just too uh, far. Just a tad bit too far. Going for more fans. Gonna be backing up. Slowly but surely. This man pure is being irritating with the fans. Tries to go for the salt shaker afterwards. The mind game is already displayed off the floor. You love to see it. Oh, that's a punish though. And this is a big damage also. Three, eight, four. My God, where did it go? Stop jumping. It's not only just three eighty four Tento. It's the way that Katana lands. Because look, this is where uh, she is able to just either bring out Jax for the ground pound or zone out. But we do have a startup actually going for a throw at the end, but was just too close off of it. And the, the Jax ending that round with the ground pound. Oh my goodness. It's most unfortunate. It's, it's some of those checkmate scenarios with um, Jax and Katana where she does a string at the Jax call and then she does um, float at the words where... She miss it misses her to hit, but it's gonna hit you because you're locked down by the string. And right there, you just saw it's like, man, there's nothing you can do. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Uh, I kind of wanted to point out again that like with this cameo combo, one for sure, this matchup on paper and with the way it's looking. Probably seems to be the most fail. toughest matchup right now for Sindel and Ludi. Uh, but it's, again, the fact that you can get so much damage with Katana. And she is landing at a perfect spacing where she can set up Jax. She can set up the instant air fan. She can just go back and forth between this and force you to close in. Where she can also forward advance to the move and continue this pressure. Five. Why is every touch doing so much? But oh my goodness, you're so lucky you gave the hit Jax in that moment. Bloody, you need to make sure you turn this around right now. 379 to a knockdown. Oh, oh, he couldn't get the salt shaker afterwards, though. The synthetic weave doing not that much work. Wait a second. Trying to go in. Oh, you tried to go for a duck? Beautiful. Not the way. Smack. You know, sometimes yeah. I look at that fatal blow and my knees hurt. <laughs> well, I look at this fatal blow and I just grab something that's gone now at this point. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so terrible. Why would you do that to a person? Once again, back on this full screen, I do like some of these early cancels. Oh, no. I still think I hit by the counter. Big counter hit. That's two for flinching. 395. Was it worth it? It's not at all. And that's two for flinching once more. Oh, no. Oh, Luddy, you taking this? Okay. Oh, you took it. That's why, because you knew he was going to drop it. You, you knew. You knew. The upper 
fan is actually going to stop the katana launcher. Now Ludi's going to oh, have to start stop coming. jumping. Yeah. And also tried to go for the ambush, but unfortunately that was just not going to work. It was too much of a slow startup for the meaty that Pure has. And this projectile is really trying to keep Ludi on guard. Tempted to Ooh, anti it. block it, but no punish. Oh, nice. Those are the guys. Another launcher here, and that's going to be closing in on the gap. Oh, no. What the I hell? Dream, but I think it's because Katana's hitbox in the air removes itself, so the overhead does not work the way it was supposed to be intended. And that's going to be it just because of the fact he just left actually you know he looks like the background characters that's crazy he just turns himself into gibbles and bits that is sucks so much cure 3-0 over luddy no do demons bump uglies oh my god john relax you're in front of the monks oh my god the bird is the word here we go again yep and then once again that force field easily and mm. we can get the backboard too, though, from Dark Elite, and then the last hit off of the 2 and 2 stream. Ooh, breaks immediately. He is good boy. Big jump. Oh, the jump kick was too powerful. Hey, uh-uh, hard knockdown. I like it. And goes for the overhead immediately into the full combo. No, misses it. The 4-2 was too slow. Oh, he whiffs completely there. Now it's just patience here from Dark Elite. He just has to walk down, but the low eagerly catches Dark Elite's footsies. Back forward two gets canceled out. Oh, Arbor 2 once again. Now Dark Elite just needs one more touch. Goes for the sweep. It's Kakoi. Glass of force field. But I think you got to worry about the armor that's going to come up if he gets his bar in time. Eagle oh, is still in cooldown. And the force field invol um, invalidates Jade Razor Glaives. Again, the back forward two does get canceled. So now it's just patience here from Dark Elite. Doesn't want to get hit too many times by Eagle Elite. Again, that chip is going down, so those flawless box are going to help negate it. But we have... Oh! And but Eagly was still in cooldown. He's going to have the bird and gets another one this time. Gets the bird, and that's going to be it. Sonic, boom, Kakoi clutches up. I almost felt like you were going to say that's Fight. the bird. Bird is the word. Yeah, bird is the word always. But sometimes you don't need to say it because everybody knows where I'm going with it. You know? Beautiful backstory, too. Also up not gonna be able to get a combo or continue the combo here from the Kitana play but we do get this fan, katana fan mm. oh the blocks not gonna be able to get the punish but goes for the throw instead and wait a minute i forgot he gets a full combo from that because he has katana safe jump oh this is the dog nothing of peacemakers uh grab is like oh yeah it is oh beautiful a block Beautiful. So cool, right? Isn't the Tekken Master? Oh god. <laughs> you know what? I agree. It is beautiful. And a great job there from the Dark Elite, who uses the Melina Ball Row and then uh, finishes up with the jump jump. Oh my god, the bird once again. Back to basically big jump. Oh, trying to go for the legs afterwards. This is... Oh my god, his face. Just this reset. is a loose fan, like you mentioned, but we do ah. Yep, that is still El Kakui's turn. Oh, it didn't have the bird, though. This is going to be huge. One hit is all it needs. Surprising to go for four, two, but Kakui's is down, focus well. The throw doesn't have uh, Katana this time for go for a throw combo, but gets all the way through. It's plus. Oh, no, goes overhand. That's going to be it into gunshots immediately. The low... Oh, brutality? Nah, you were there, would you? Oh, yeah. yes. No. Let's see Batman do that. Can I tell you something, Tento? That I saw this past weekend. I was watching WrestleMania, right? Ah, the beauty of it. And I'm not going to lie. I saw John Cena running into the ring. And all I could think of is I've seen this man torpedo himself too many times. Yeah, seeing John run full speed like that, and I was like, he's just going to dive into the wing and just kill whoever he gets. Bro, The Rock is going to spontaneously combust when this man sees him. I thought he was going to go head first into that man. I was like, yeah, it's over. 
<laughs> I've seen this too many times in my games to see this in real life the way I've been seeing it. <laughs> John, you have scarred us all. A trade off of the Equally and the Jade Razor Glaive. He's gonna tear it. He does. He's gonna be a lot of damage. Hey. Let's go for safe jump afterwards. This is just back up. Oh, yeah, he knows the space game. He knows he can play it. That's what the boy is doing. He said, I don't want to deal with none of that. Oh my god, he just shot. <gasps> I thought he was about to convert that with the bar. I was about to lose my mind. That would have been so cool to see. Uh, we do get a stack of deep buff on right now. And there goes the J Glaive. That's going to still force Dark Elite. Mm. Defense, but we see a little bit of cheeky things from Dark Elite. Again, the E Elite is trading consistently. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's a grown ass man just launched you 250 pounds of muscle just going into you head first. Yeah, I'm tired, bro. Why is he so fast? This person that big should not be moving that fast. <laughs> He's a problem. Hey. Right, Breaker is used here for Dark Elite. Again, the force field negates the Jade Blade and can just throw out Eagly. The back over too, though, phases through Eagly, tries to jump in, but the gunshot catches the toes. I like that that one to stop the approach. He has Katana get the full combo too. No meter to break his Dark Elite. So you gotta hold this sex up. Oh no. He blocked the mix. But he has Breaker. So he use it. Mm, I think this is actually, this was actually pretty good to save, to be honest. Just in case there's another hit. There is a uh, Torpedo and the Katana fan that keeps El Kukumi safe there. Once you get the forward two in, not going to be able to do so. And again, the blades are negated by the force field. Great blocks here from El Kakui. He just challenges? No way. And gets the gunshot right afterwards. That big before he's going up 2 0 against Dark Elite. I think the glow may need a bit more startup if they don't give a meter. <laughs> No, very seriously, because that's... If you I know what you mean. I hear it, you. The, if you remember how Jade's glow was, she could really only have done it when she was, like, far screen, and she still had a very large startup um, for it. Uh, and, and this game, it, it's actually... It would have been... It would be easier to do glow because of the hard knockdowns and the way knockdowns work in this game compared to MK11. Mm -hmm. Um so I'm just thinking that that's, that's probably what I feel like would be the next case scenario if they do not make it a bar. Because then you could still try to punish it. Um, and there was mm -hmm. multiple times that I, I feel like if that was the case, uh, um, Dark Elite would have tried to um, definitely get a, a forward two in or so. But we see Serena pick, which I think that's like the most common uh, cameo meta for um, Ashra. They are going to try to make it work, but... When bird is the word, what can you do about it, man? Oh, you know what? Getting shimmy by a move like that is definitely infuriating, because why? Oh, no, tried to go through it, but didn't complete it, though. It's the Koi. No, Koi is back at the full screen range. Does get hit by the backboard, too. That wasn't a punish, though. Notice, uh, Tento. Oh, that wasn't. It's the block. Oh, I think he just four two that from that range, no? It might have been a little too slow or a little too far. Gunshots go out once again. Backing away. Oh, oh my god. god. That was the last frame of it. The last active frame it felt like it. Jesus. Kakoi playing the trumpet currently on set point to walk his way into the top eight winner's side. But Dark Elite, hey, you still got a fighting chance, right? Right? I mean, is that forward, back forward too? Tries to get the overhead an up block, but does get recovered before Dark Elite could apply it. Beautiful jump up as well. Unfortunately, um, that was, I think, a missed input from Alpha Kui, but Dark Elite tried to capitalize off of it. Force fields are out again, and then the high gunshots. Gunshots all around. Wait a second, get the glaive this time around, and he's gonna switch positions. Oh, yes, we are. We're in the corner now, and it's not looking too good. He's not even gonna try to go in. Why? Because he knows the spacing game is gonna be too good for him. Look at him, he's just walking back. I don't need to approach you. You can come to me. Oh no, wow. the mid check. He tried it. Ooh. A 
Okay, using Breaker to actually stop the punish from happening. Eagly goes out again. Okay. Track Elite really trying to walk down again. 27 more seconds on the clock, so there's still a little bit of time. But has to make two solid hits to really clean up shop right now. And has to deal oh with the jump. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Might have been overkill. That's overkill for sure, brother. Let's see Batman do that. Peacemaker. Batman is definitely not doing that. Like, that's crazy. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know anything out there in Vegas. That's crazy. Just find me for food. I'll lead you to the promised land. Okay, I just know where the food is at. All right, Dalot. Just got to get this princess. Oh, he's chopping this woman down. That's what he's going to do. You know, I will say, I, I never would have expected Pure to play uh, Katana, and I, I, I've been loving it this entire night so far. Facing's been great, setups have been amazing to see, uh, very, like, clear, uh, straight to the point um, when it comes to this. But this is also dialogue with Kano as well, so usually we've seen dialogue uh, with the General Shao and Chameleon, and now we're seeing this Kano pick, which I find is interesting, but what a counter hit! My button is a little bit fast on the startup. It says pure, and that's gonna be a lot of damage. 415. And this is a rare occasion. Oh, nice armor too. But Jack saving the day. Big car weathers. Oh, wait, he can't break. You gotta go into fatal immediately. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, he. Wait, what? Oh, <gasps> no. Mix. I actually I think that there's a reason why Dialogue didn't go because uh, I believe Jax was already returned. So if they did, if Dialogue did go to fatal, that would have meant um, that their breaker could have happened. God, this overhead is coming through though. This is one of also the rare occasions where uh, we see that Xiao has less health than his opponent. What the hell? Oh yeah, you're right actually. Jesus Christ. That's so weird. Oh my, hello? That's a dialogue like mind game right there. You go for the overhead, you go for the Kano ball, and then you try to get as much damage as possible. And that was just like perfect there. As well as Black Swift coming out of that lock right there. Tries to go for stand two, but that is the high. That's the one weakness of Shao. This boy got nothing but highs, baby. Check this man, kneecaps. An interesting trade that does stop Pure from uh, actually converting oh. it. No, that, that, that I thought was you had the bar. Yeah. I thought you had the bar on his side. I'm like, no way. Oh, he's chopping down the tree once more. Nice overhead fan. Dala, that one clean hit, activates overhead, and just goes forward. Pure thought it was his turn, but it's not. Oh my god, I didn't know she can go that high, Jesus. <laughs> you know, that one thing that, that like really makes the difference is that slight movement. Did you see like the little shuffle that Dialog was doing before uh, oh, yeah. actually um, forward advancing? That's just movement. That's like keeping your opponent on their toes and second guessing whether or not they're going to actually go for a move or not. Yeah, that little Cupid shuffle right before you go for your attack. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful to do. Why? Because you want to make sure you overload your opponent with your movements. They go like, okay, what is he about to do? He's about to do that 4-4. Four, four. He's about to do that 4-2. Four, he's going to do the stand two. And he's just going and boom. You don't even know what you got hit by. I don't even remember what he got hit by. He got smacked, though. He definitely did. Laser to mid now. Yo, that anti air was so good. Pure. 349. Out. Balls block here. And that is a bit of a launcher dialogue trying to challenge in the middle. We're back trying to walk down pure. A spirit keeps throwing out the projectiles. We got the king of knives, but the low sweep is actually gonna keep uh the pure safe in that moment. Ooh, the Kano Knife still plus on a hit, and that's gonna lead into some big damage here for Dialog. He's gonna get the forward throw. And, and then he gets the launcher into the Jax combo. Round two. And with that, uh, Pure taking the first round. Once again, launching through, and that's gonna keep that setup going. Quick move in here, beautiful armor uh, launcher here from Dialog. Unfortunately, not gonna get the full extension, and then the ground pound is gonna catch Dialog's toes. Sweet. Great block here, calling out the fact that Pure wanted to launch in that moment. 
for the throw. Penal knives, and then the overhead gonna be forcing Cure to do the breaker. There was a call out on the up block, but Dylock still maintaining the momentum. Has enough bar to work with as well. Oh my gosh, those are just plus frames after plus frames. Cure not choosing to stand still, but it's gonna hurt for it as well in this round. Penal knives go out again, opening up Cure, who is just getting demolished right now with the General Shao's uh, plus frames Axless Shao. And again, that Cupid Shuffle, but Pure not falling for it, staying confident. And getting the forward advancing move and closing in. There goes the forward, uh, rather back throw. And Pure back at the full screen to try to throw out projectiles. Beautiful up block from Pure, calling out the jump in, but Dialog still having bar to use Breaker. Goes for the low. Again, trying to jump over. Knives go out. It still leaves Pure in a block stun. He's then gonna go ahead and still wake up. Not gonna block on this wake up portion. And the Kano Ball does the down one, forcing the breaker, but that is just four points of health right now that Pure's gonna yeah, we're, we're punishing that way! He's dead! He's dead! He's dead! He's dead! No, he's dead! <laughs> That it was only four points, Penzo. I'll be so mad, I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I'm punching the air right now. I I would be hot. I would be pretty heated. Ooh. You know, hey, if anybody knows Dialog, you know he talking that talk to himself right now. <laughs> I can't do a dialogue impression right now because I'm I'm a lo I'm a, I'm gonna laugh too hard, but. He definitely talked to himself, said me. We need, we, I wish there was a way to get like Trill um, to record some sound bites and have a way to like play it in some of these moments. Cause Trill is one of the best hype men inside the MK community. If you know you're watching MK and Trill's around, oh, you guys are in for a treat. It's such a treat, I promise you. One man army right there. War will not help them, General. Especially with General Shao. Like watching it uh watching him um just like yell while Dialog was on the screen with Shao was just oh my god, it was it was crazy. <laughs> oh, you tried the back dash, it's still plus and now stepping on your toes. Oh, it's looking crazy indeed, Zaki. Throw it down one more time. Uh, uh. Oh, got the block. Oh wait, can you punish that? I don't think you can punish that. Again, this is Axless Shao and I feel like uh, Axel Shao is like the most safe that Shao can be, minus like a couple of moves, and that is not one of them. This might be closing in on a very clean round. <laughs> yep, and that is all Dialogue who wrote there. Dialogue is awake and angry. Oh yeah, he definitely is. At that last one, he said, I can't believe that's what the wind is from. I sure can't do that man. Got stuff on this man's toes. Oh my god, his head. Not stuff on his toes at all. Oh, the golf swing, PGA World Tour, Dialog coming in action. Freaking that shall do it again. Oh no. We're gonna get hey. jumping, but here we go. Pure waking up, challenging. Once again, sending the fan lift. Close in. Let's get the back. All two punches, believe. Oh, but the big jump, Saki. Okay, this. I'm not gonna say anything because what happened last time was what happened last time. So we're just gonna see if it happens this time. Oh my, oh my god. It almost did, Tento. Let's be honest, it almost did if it wasn't for those Kano knives. <gasps> oh, no! You did, no, why would you, why did you, why did you go for that? Why did you go for that? There was no reason for you to go for that. There was none. You could, there was, that wasn't a risk you needed to take at all. Oh no, dialogue. Big jump. Think of this combo. He might not be ready for prime sound, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. We do still get that momentum, so don't count him just out yet, uh, Senzo. You know, I I I, I wouldn't do that the first two times. And then um mm -hmm. he had to leave like this and then the comeback happened, so I guess I'm just gonna be quiet. Don't jinx it, Tento, don't curse. Be quiet. It. There you I'm go. Be quiet. I'm gonna be quiet. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> I, I, no, he's, he's not dead. dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's, no, 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 he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's over. 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 He's
It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Hey, so no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't do a thing. I didn't do a thing. I, I did not do a thing. He literally was dead. I told you guys he was dead. It wasn't gonna happen. I promised to God it was not gonna happen. He was dead. Well, every single. How many people are in here? All 560 people just was... about to grab their pitchforks against you. <laughs> he died. What are you guys talking about, bro? What what was happening right there was going to be impossible. If that legit happened, I probably would have put down my uh, mic for the rest of it. <laughs> All right, we got Tylock up 2-1 against Pure, already going into the Axeless Shao version to get those uh, plus frames. Oh my goodness, Mansion 2? That's a big launch. The princess is getting huh, combo by the general. What a thought. It's true. Plus, oh my gosh, we get the axe. Using the gap list. Oh, hello my baby, hello my honey. Checking down those toes and the command grab afterwards. Hold this axe cold outside Ooh. Oh and what's crazy is pure didn't even use bar for that um fan lift either so but we still it. have the pressure and dialogue not continuing after the axe slam we fight all of this damage right now it's gonna be 40 percent i have to be very careful here pure has a lot of meter to work with so one bar and a, a second one closing in but the kano knives Hatching here in the air. Round two. Fight. Okay. On projectile. Oh no. Ooh. Grab him. And a full combo. Alright, here we go. Working around the corner. I thought this grab is coming, but wait, the grab is coming now. It's actually really interesting because I've been noticing guy like actually been playing a lot of the chameleon and it's you go on Kano in this matchup. I wonder why specifically. I haven't seen what I haven't picked up what is what's been going down. I feel like it's it's a oh what a great um, oh up block bait right there and that's gonna be 17 <gasps> percent. Oh my god, the golf swing too. No dialogue, this is your time. This is your chance. Uh, I think with this one, um, it's it's consistent pressure, and we kind of talked about this earlier with Chameleon. It, the timer kind of can mess you up, and it's not as a consistent pressure. It's great for damage, though. But <gasps> like here, exactly. He's dead. This should be it. Um, oh, didn't send it. He just send it. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus Christ! He went for command grab because he was airborne and he had did the two hits of the DP. He would not have the help to take it. Your stays alive. But like in those situations, once again, Kano knives coming into play. It's a great ambush attack. You can summon it at any point almost. Um, and you can keep up pressure here. Uh, and also again, the Kano ball is huge for these in, uh, instances as well. Well, Kano knives is today. The axe is down. He's a little scared. You saw him shook. Oh, sweet. Oh, you saw like that wasn't funny, but gets the armor through this time around. Call pressing. The command grab, you know he's looking for it. <laughs> you know he was looking for it, but he's waiting on that DP. And that's gonna I do with the back throw. Ooh, off with your head, said the and split into two. Ho, ho, ho. Brutality. Christmas came early, my boy. Uh, being the out. And I'm, I would love to, like, brain. find out um, from players after this tournament's done uh, why why they feel exactly um, they haven't really hopped into uh, the Janet train. Uh, Jenna is one of those characters where, like people like feel like just because you're not using the Gento scan instead of it's not uh, you're not utilizing the camera. I'm gonna be honest with you. I've been maining Janet with the good old um, Alina, and I do not use Gento at all. But I've been having fun because even without uh, the stance, she's still a very strong camera. Mm -hmm. Four throw does 14. Air combos are always there, and an event people don't talk about that. The nut punch is actually an invincible wake up. It's unsafe, but it's invincible. You know, there's that Eagly twice in a row. And there goes the back throw with the katana to continue the combo. And already El Kukui. Oh, we got oh, the God. jump over Eagly. This is where it gets ugly right now for El Kukui. If Red Nose is able to keep the pressure going. <gasps> Big jump again. Oh my God, you're so lucky to get this time. But Poke into special is going to do that. 
full combo. He's gonna break. Oh uh, yes, he is. He has to move of the uh, oh no, he got caught. Punish. Mm -hmm. Red nose and building up that hype. Almost at full hype leader. Holy. Round two. That was such a clutch move there from uh, Red Nose as well. The Katana fan left though, keeping it safe. Well, now we're gonna bring out the blaze. Red Nose on the mouth of offensive right now. It's looking like kind of troublesome for Koi. Put in the corner once more. No safe jump, but miss afterwards. Beautiful up block coming out of Koi, but Breaker immediately. Red Nose does not want the momentum to start. Tries to anti but misses. Stop. Force field, another force field as well. Beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at the Look red. At all the damage. Look yep. at the red. Perfectly timed to bring Red Nose back into a fatal blow position. Oh, oh no. Took the hit. Up. Oh no. Can't activate fatal. It's going to be too slow, but this next hit could be. Oh my. He did oh not my activate gosh. that. Oh my gosh. That was mad random. Why did he do that? Brutality. The triple shadow kick was insane. Well, hey, take these I glasses mean, off. Technically speaking, the triple shadow kick, I think, is, um, I think it's like, you. it still has armor, if I'm not mistaken. So you if it kinda... is, I did not know, and that is insane. I, I, I think so, because you're in hype meter, right? So, like, this is this. And, and the other thing, too, if it doesn't have armor, you can just do it right after the other. That's what, like, creates this weird, um, like, oh, I, I blocked Johnny Kick, but then now I have to, like, actually still keep blocking because he can do it three times in a row with almost no recovery until the last one. So, yeah, I mean, like, that was actually a great decision there to go into Hype Meter and then clean it out and forcing El Kukui into the Tanya as well. And the Tanya Goro at that. Hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's just the Tanya, and it's gonna be with the armor and two side switch. Activate. Oh, he gotta be very careful with that four two string. Hello? What just happened? That felt like some Dragon Ball Z type. What the You know what? We're not gonna talk about it. Side switch once again. There goes the nice frame right mid, like you mentioned, and we get the side switch, the double jade blades too, so that's gonna be some extra damage to boot. Also, another thing to note, 950 health inside of- There's no way you did that for the wake up. I- I'm not gonna lie, I kind of thought that was gonna work for Red Nose. Ooh. I'm just now. Gonna build some hype up, I respect that. Yeah, questionable decision right there from Red Nose at the end, but hey, no, you're ready to go on. Oh, God, he got switched around. How you gonna turn around in your own house? Come on now. Another full combo to the side, gonna activate buff. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Ooh, tries to punish with the glaive. Beautiful, bro. From El Kukui, but gets feeling that from plus the Katana fan lift is gonna keep the combo going. Very plus. good. But just challenges? Hello? Red nose. That's a grown man type move. I thought you was kinda young, my boy. Okay. Oh, full hive meter right back again at the full capacity. Red nose gonna activate oh. it right there. See, it oh. does have armor. One line about it all, but wait a second, this man's getting killed in the corner right now because the cojones will take it. <laughs> dash, uh, the dash cancel uh, as well to boot, to keep it going. There goes the low, as that's gonna work here and avoid the parry. Ooh, I like that 4 2 stack in the throw. Remember, thing about 4 2 1 1 with uh, Taya, Johnny can actually parry through it. That's why you see Kakoi kind of staggering it and switching up the timing with it. No oh, the dunk? dunk? The dunk on the throw! He can actually be dead if he optimizes correctly. He oh, he just been the bar. Oh, he's out of there. Armor? No! He gets hit instead. What's the move? Wave is still there. Oh, Katana lift is too. Oh my god. 
goodness, there's no way that down three hit. That is insane. Red Nose going up 2-0 and with the fatal. I feel like they play against each other so many times that it's like, I'm done with you. Get off, Tanya. <laughs> Give me another character. Is why I feel like what Red Nose is ready to say. This Johnny is not crusty at all. I don't know what you were saying earlier, Tento. Like I said, I like to make fun of my friends all the time so they prove me wrong. I like to give them that little, that little push, okay? That push. Mm. That down three, though. Down three actually wait. I didn't think that down three was going to risk that far to get that kill, but the second later, it would have been literally the 4-2 into GG's for Kukoi. But that's another timeline. Luke Kang cannot be a part of that one. Red Nose. Johnny Locking in. Chameleon, I feel like El Kukui, um really sure sticks with the Tanya um, in Goro pick more than uh, I feel like Mighty Unjust would. Um, and I think that like Round you can almost say that like the Tanya and Goro is is the is the pick that El Kukui will always like go back to, right? I think this is one of the reasons why because again you have oh no pick into Goro but that is not good right now. It's definitely not good at all. Luckily, it's going to be scaled because of the parry uh, scaling, but uh, it still sucks that you're in the corner right now and getting your cojones taken into a safe jump. Oh, no. Protecting, you still going. Not going to be able to punish the Melina ball roll, but we are still going to punish the kick. Yeah, because Johnny moves. Look at that movement. Jesus. 296, and that's going to be it. Red Nose on set point to take down Kakoi 3-0 and walk his way into winner's final to fight Dylon. This you have. This man just knows how to challenge that forward. Please look at that knee. Look at that knee. Great patience here, calling out that El Kakoi wanted to get the kick and into the Goro plus frames. Michael Ooh, blocks. Great defense. Anti-air, but no conversion. Oh, ran into him again. He knew he wasn't blocking a wake up. Not gonna break his red nose. Or is he gonna break now? He is. Try to prevent that fatal blow and lowering the pelt. Alright, so Melina's on deck. He could dash up into Nyx. Oh, he doesn't. Plus. Mr. J Glaive. No throw. Oh, he gets to throw this time. And lucky Katana's not back quite yet. That could have been bad. Big jump. Conversion. And goes yep. for Chip yeah. afterwards. My God. Kakoi with the clutch. Hey, your combat is weak. See, personally, I couldn't be able to take that from uh, Couldn't take that to Tanya, bro. You gotta fight back. Okay. Good staggers here from El Kakoi to go for the forward throw. Now he's just trying to charge up the parry. We do have full high bar though for Red Nose. That is not good. That's exactly what Elsa we didn't really need here. As that's going to lead into Red Nose. More than likely activating Hype Meter. Oh no. Actually, it was just sleep time. got the corner there. Wanting to maybe call out, but not going to be able to. Activates the Hype Meter right here. Slowly oh, he's going down. Out. We'll to break that. So you got a little bit left though. Okay. Yep. Oh, get the throw. You know, one confirm is off. That's it. That's oh it. no. Mm. Yeah, that. Uh, I think one more hit is what. What. I thought if well, you confirmed the fatal, it would have been it. But the wait a second, it's gonna be. You can't armor this. You gotta take that. <gasps> oh. Down one. Oh, this man's no. so brave. Kakoi, take it. Game number three. Force it. Another game at a red nose. And my goodness, we're going the long way. I don't think it's over. You may need to look at that replay again, but uh, I think Red Nose wanted to go for a throw, but then hesitated. And El Kukui wanted to do the down one regardless because that would have probably uh, stopped the, the throw um, animation in the first place. Melina's restand, uh, or Chameleon as Melina's restand, is a little bit tricky. Because once again, it's a restand, but for many characters, you're not going to really be able to combo off of it as much as you would like to. Plus, it's one of the lowest uh, damaging throws because it gives that restand. 
Oh, the change. Oh, really? But actually, yeah, this actually makes sense because he has a counter pick you know advantage. So, blind, right? should he lose Not this match, he can go back to Johnny if need be. But going back to your bread and butter, death is going to help you out in this moment. Let us see. Let us see. So far, so good. On the block button, but wait a minute. The armor grew. We also have fire axes meant to go out. Um, and then the overheads here, which will help a little bit when El Kukui tries to go for his parry. Blocks the kicks, blocks Goro. Up block. up block. It's party time. It's a 2v1 game now. Are you ready, kids? Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> the game connected, and the second player has entered to chat. Oh, this is terrible. That oh one is just, God. I didn't even know. Fart. I was like, you know what? That makes sense, because Sento's your puppet. You just Fart. you just got to allow Sento to come in. Let's go this man went afterwards, but no sir, just me a mid-check afterwards. Oh, yeah, he broke immediately. No, I don't want to do anything. Tries to go for the, I believe the back one, but not gonna be able to get it. And it's Alpha Kui, he's gonna get the side switch. Overheads again. That's up block, block. he's been looking for it. Oh, he's too low. That's gonna be the round, should be. Oh, no, he does not have a bar. I apologize. Looking at the wrong side here. Don't get hit though. That whiff, Ooh. how? But yeah, I think that was such a weird, uh, weird hitbox. I think maybe it was because Red Nose was just too far away. Oh no, you poked him. It's gonna kill you for it. My god. The boy making these adjustments with this tie in. Saki, it's not looking too good for this man, Red Nose. Mm -mm, not looking good at all. Oh, but we do get the last hit in. Now it's Sento in the cooldown, but when you have this forward throw that might help out. Bar yep, is so. going to wake the Klee. I mean, it sucks because Red knows what happened right there towards the end. He definitely tried to go in front of the projectile that Tanya threw out so he could take the hit before so Sento wouldn't. So he wouldn't go down, but unfortunately he didn't get there in time. <gasps> oh my god. It's not good. It's going to be a lot of health that's going to be gone. You're going to actually charge up the parry. I'm going to do once more. Girls there. Patience. Down shoes? There's no way. Why did he do it? That's it. All right. Wait. Tying it up two to two. He's bringing it all the way back. Had a game to give. Now is Red Nose. The pressure's on it right now. This is actually Kokoi's prime time. I would say he can legit take the set just as based off of what is going to happen on the character's leg screen. Are you going right back into it or are you taking a second? Uh, I, you know, I really feel like the Johnny and Chameleon was working. I just, I, I, maybe, maybe it's Johnny just the, the comfortability. Kenshi yeah, Zero. going back to Kenshi and Sub-Zero this time. Becoming Matron Superior is the pinnacle of your career. There is no yeah, I might, I might have to get this one because Koi just because, not because, um, of course, Red Nose is a great player, don't be wrong. And Kenshi's his main, he wants to go out with his main. But you not taking a second at the character's left screen after a loss like that is not the way. I'm going to be honest. It definitely can be troublesome. Yeah, especially when Elf is going at this momentum and it's not stopping. You want to just take that minute to slow down and you think, um, as well, but we'll see here. That's a flawless block on those overheads. Oh, but we got a land here. And all the wood takes is one hit, and he has extra 50 health, and Tanya has actually less 50 health. So all these hits really do add up. Wait for that armor. So plus deal. <gasps> I like it, but zero. Yo, you spent it twice. Is that actually gonna kill because she has that much health? Oh, it is, bro. Red nose. Spins both the bars. That was interesting. I I, I also really like the, the realization really uh, quickly that he hit Goro, but then 
did it again to make sure that it actually does catch El Kukui right after. Way to go. Oh, big whip punish coming out of Red Nose right now. And wait a second, you got the win condition out. Prove me wrong, Red Nose. Take this man out right here, right now. Almost through. I like to sweep and try to wake up with something that was not the block button, was Red Nose. Oh, gets the hit. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if Red Nose was trying to just anti air there in that moment. <gasps> That's it! That's, That's it. it! That is literally it! Yes! Red Nose! I'm gonna take it 3 to 2, the 9 to reverse 3 0 from Kokoi after the slight shimmy with the back 2. Red Nose is going to win this final, guaranteed top 3 to fight Dylock. The bags. <laughs> the movement. This is a Slice her up, turn into a shish kebab. She's done. They're going for the Shao pick this time versus Dark Elite's Ashra. I'm glad to have been part of the resistance. Well, I see the Coles being claimed and $10 in the park from Fal Yo, Fallon. Thank you so much for the $10. But I think that's all the Coles claimed just like that. Y'all did it for me? Oh, wait, no, it's four more left. All right. Get it done, please. But B Wood versus Dark Elite is going to be loser side action. So when the loser this actually goes out of the tournament, you're, you're done. You turn off your PS5, you go cry in the corner, you go to sleep, and you're better luck next week, okay? That's all you can do. Oh my god, Ermac Turf comes out next week. I just realized that. Yes, I'm excited. Um, oh, I actually like this. So Dark Elite has started with Chameleon early on, has now started with the Serena pick as well. And again, this is a really good pick. A uh, really good cameo for Ashra. It's been one of the best ones uh, as far as her meta is concerned. We're gonna get the back throw from um, Seawood. Oh. That was awesome. That was very, very smart thinking there to avoid the Kung Lao hat. The reaction to just do DP in that moment so you can get past Lao hat. Completely going over. I never would have thought of that. See, Darkly always shows me something new. Using the brain to the maximum of the capacity. It's what we call a big brain move, Tento. Yeah, I don't know how she keep that hat on because that brain is way too damn big for me. <laughs> oh no. Get your toaster by a hat. That's the worst way. Cracker <laughs> 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 with a hundred dollar contribution. Thank you so much for supporting our players here and buffing up that prize pool. You almost <laughs> killed Tento with it. I'm, I'm sorry. I just saw Cracker and I saw $100. I was like, man, okay. Thank you, Cracker. Appreciate you. <laughs> Wonderful stuff there. <laughs> yeah, damn. I was trying to take a swig of water and then all of a sudden, Cracker with the 100. Back forward two with the armor. He got the big cheese. Cheese and crackers. You love to see it. Okay. Hey, hey. Uh, uh. He was looking not to break all about to say. Oh yeah, just definitely using projectiles here. It's not much that B Wood can do there. And I like that sweep because that conditioned B Wood to have him to stand block most of that. Already up now, on the board here, Dark Elite. The question for B Wood, do you pull out the Johnny for this matchup or do you stick it out with your main? That is the question we must ask here. Is the Shao gonna weather the storm? Or is Serena too much for you? You might need to go away in. I don't know. Cameo change can also be a thing as well. Mm. Yeah. I, you know, I understand. Well, okay. I understand why the Sub Zero pick is it's between the Serena Blaze. Because it's not just Ashra's forward two and long range buttons, mind you. Right? It's Serena. Because if you notice, there's those plus, uh, those single blades, and then there's these double blades that uh, Dark Elite uses to um, get the full extender on the damage. It was a cancel in front of the face. It's supposed to sweep this plus. You got outspace afterwards, and the overhead too. That's so overwhelming. My goodness, B Wood, fight back! Oh, misses the sweep. Now this is Asha in light stance right now, but those debuffs are starting to disappear very shortly. Starting with the first one. Oh, armor's right through. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Ah, uh, I think he found it as a projectile. 
No way. Wait, what? Yeah. Let me find out. Happen. Wait. Does Peacemaker not get it? No. Okay, I gotta grab that. That's. I need to. That, that, that's, that's it. Chip is a big problem, and though the ice armor cannot save you from that heal to your chin. Dark Elite taking that first round. Who the duck? No punish. Does get the 2 2. Again, these single blades helping create spacing right now for Dark Elite. Oh, big Jimmy. Oh, the 2 2 afterwards. Standing, no throws quite yet, but man, B Wood is not getting shimmy. He almost combo off that, by the way. What the hell? That would have been a really sick combo. A couple of down ones and then into like a, a launcher. That would have been so sick. He is attacking this man's close. Plus frames on plus frames. The throw afterwards, and finally it comes through. Doja Cat coming through for the win. It's, oh my god. This man shout, he's blowing up. He's. That man spontaneously combusted. Holy. I put Stark Elite up 2 0 right now. In very quick fashion, too. I really love what Dark Elite did, like, has been doing. It's pressure, pressure, stagger, stagger, slight hits here into the single hit, uh, single blade, then more pressure uh, with my longer range buttons, and then throw after throw, projectile, then throw, and then you're just done. You're just done. Oh, we got a peacemaker with striker? Spreading that piece. The right way. Then there's no way you win this fight. Interesting. Okay, Eagles goes out. Two Eagles out, and then now we're back on to four skills. Oh, that's Great a clean up. punish. And a clean optimal punish, too. Those goes to speak better words. Plus frames on plus frames and give me a toes once more. The armor is blue. Striker on deck too. This team Heike kind of... You know what I mean? I say it. Oh, the stand two afterwards. Yo, Dark Elite is on set point to eliminate this man, B-Wood, at seven plates. The top eight here of TNS number 26 for MK1 on a Thursday night. You really hate it. The... Never mind. The Pedo Sushi Hall. I'm sorry. Good usage of the Jesus. Armor, um, armor backboard too there. He's really using his head with this one. Yeah, he truthfully is. <laughs> oh, that's a punish here for Dark Elite. Thank you so much, Nino, for the $30 contribution. Puts us at everything $130. <gasps> no! But no conversion! Down one checks. No continuation. No, He's no continuation through. again. He got shimmed. The look didn't believe. Oh, that'd be a missed input indeed. That's gonna be it. Dark Elite taking it 3 0 over B Wood TTV. Tiny human. Oh, speaking of surprise. Oh, wait, what? Maybe. Interesting. Lee May and Melina. You know, like you said, Scar always making these surprising picks here for Lee us. May. Oh, he wants the damage. You can't get touched. Don't get touched at all. Please yes, don't. Not. The one thing that's scary about this team, we don't talk about Lee May working too much anymore, guys. But the one thing that's scary about this team is a person with good neutral play on Lee May. Because if you whiff anything, you're holding 400. It's not funny. Easily. 400 oh, oh no. no that this is where it starts look at this y'all thought it was planned y'all thought it was planned oh my gosh the flawless block this team is so solid when it comes to that and i like what i i, I really do like what this guard is doing off rip he's throwing out square pitch in the gate loud hat he knows he knows oh 
beautiful punish there. Also avoiding the Kung Lao hat as well. And yeah, I mean, I think this is like the... You said it perfectly. Someone with the best neutral possible, that's Scar. And we're gonna see it here. God. Why did he pick up this team? Who gave him this power? Who gave him this power? Who told him about this team? I, I we don't see like, this team too much anymore. I feel like it had to be like Dab or uh, Fresh Kabar. Because like those, 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 those people know know the true nature of Lee Mei if they got good neutral. Ooh. Oh my gosh, so lucky. This did it so instant, okay, Illy Silly. Now, the random knee works just like, you know, the kick from Jade when you think about it. So, be aware if you're playing against Scar that a knee might come into your horizon really soon. And, and it, a knee's it not going to be good trouble. That's the other thing. It's going to be extended by Scorpion if it if it hits. So you have to be like, very careful about it. But, okay, Ooh, not breaks. breaker. Nice down four gets the throw. You can throw with this man to death if you want to. <gasps> he woke up buttons, but lucky you didn't get caught. And guess what? Is that it? Not quite. But the mid check afterwards. Oh, it's over at this time. Yo, those the, uh, air ball rolls have been so good. They really have been. Good patience, remembering about the Kung Lao hat at the end. Now, this is one thing that, uh, unfortunately, with Lee Mays, um, it, it makes it really hard in these matchups. It's her stubby nor normals. So she's not going to be able to get as much of a reach as uh, as you would like. But, I mean, again, this is Melina, so that that's also a struggle here on this end. But it's the better buttons that Melina has that makes the difference. Ooh, beautiful block. Lots of damage, but breaks immediately. The, th the thing is, though, Scar still has Scorpion, which means this is a two-touch game no matter what, still. Even without the bar. You gotta watch out for low side. <gasps> oh my god. Overhead instant. Overhead oh instant. The throw. 30 seconds left on the clock. It's possible. It's doable. It's flawless block. And that might be chip. Yeah. Checking with the mid. First game goes to Illy Silly, but this one you may. Scorpion versus Kuma. Okay, right back into it. At least we took that game number one. We had a slight lobby reset, so we're going to see if adjustments been made from Scar, but oh my god, the hearts are blockable. Sonic. Oh, you tried to, man. Cancel. <gasps> oh my god, two for pushing in the worst way. Look at the damage going to be on board for that. Oh, <laughs> we're not done. No, we're not. Perfect. Nice flaws block. Mmm, gotta just stagger that. I wonder how you can get a combo from that. Though. It would have to be like a single hit confirm combo, to be honest, by the looks of it. So it's like fan one into into flip, flip. Like, uh I would actually say into back forward four, to be honest. That's like the probably the easiest thing to turn into. Mm, yeah. Sad to see. Goes for up block like this. Also, uh, my goodness, kick is coming out. Oh my goodness! Wait, drops though. That's a big punish. Huge punish, mm -hmm. actually. And he's locked out of breaker. You gotta kill him. Yup, there you go. There's nothing I can't do. I love the little lion she has. It's a lion? That's, yeah, it's a lion. I don't know what kind of animal it is. It just scares the hell out of me. Keep it away. Put it back in this cage. It's like the, the it's, it's like the Chinese lions, actually. So it's a, it's a big ass cat. Okay, I'm stop. Good check. Oh, the trail on the folks. Oh, try to push away. Oh my goodness, that was so good. Those instant air balls seem to catch uh, Scar every single time, which makes it really tough uh, to contest. Great counter hit! It's low. Sorry, someone said that's food dog and I'm really crying. <laughs> oh, the black one's Oh, the perfect. Staggered. Oh my god. Lantern, Lantern, into Fatal, not gonna kill because he has Breaker, but the poke, it was deadly. The blocks, no punish though. The last hit whiffed, he didn't recognize. 
I like Danger. the lantern. This lantern is gonna uh, at least stop Illy Silly from going in the air. But that mid check, it's gonna catch Scar again. Mid check needs actual fighting moments that actually been killing Scar quite often. Caught not blocking, brother in Christ. The block button is good for you. Yeah, these lanterns. I, I actually am glad that Scar's starting to throw them out again um, a little bit more, especially in these like full screen spacing. Because uh, that lantern is just going to stop Illy Silly from going into the air for the air ball roll, which is one of the things that uh, starts up the momentum for Illy Silly. Some slight pickups here, but it's not enough to connect. And of course, you actually uh, whip the projectile at the get so. The low style on the low hat, too. That was the least amount of chip, but you gotta walk this man down. What you gonna do? <gasps> the mid again. Yes, it's been the pride and true. And that's actually gonna interrupt uh, Scar's wake up option. We're gonna get the overhead and another overhead. Hard knockdown situation. Tries to go for the sweep, it was a little too early. Mid once again, the Scar Force use all three bars, use the Scorpion to negate that. Hat coming through, but the bound one again. I also like a chip at this point. The renter up two, and that is going to do it. At least silly going up 2 0 right now against Scar. Now, Scar, are you going to stick it out with the lead, May? Or do we know? We know he has Ash. Yeah. He's going to bring it out. Mm, if he doesn't, like I said, it's just one of these things where it's like Lee May has to touch you to be able to deal damage and that's what like i feel like is like the counterplay to her is if you stop her from trying to advance on neutral and stop her from trying to actually activate then like it works out i'm hoping with this uh ashra there might be a change in the tides especially considering that this is serena and once again you know full screen blades or even single hit blades that's going to lead into great spacing and then you can go into like forward four or two two and and really like actually make something out of it but we already serena on cooldown but we got a launcher here from scar mm -hmm. oh my goodness let me over here Oh my god, the number one is be insane, but the breaker coming out of Illy Silly immediately. Teleport to the other side. Oh, that's gonna be a big punish. Damash. I mean, afterwards. The duck? Why did you duck right there? That was so. Armor. And then it goes that 2-1 uh, or 2-2 two, two string to start it up. It is a high-low. And that's already going to challenge Illy Silly a couple of times. It's, oh, we have a punish, but it wasn't a full punish. But still blocking that overhead. Crucial. Oh, did the up block it? Did he not know? Did he I, not know? No, I think he let go of block is what happened. Because you can still block it if you, um, like if you get the command grab. Oh, we're blocking the over here once again. I like the air combo to negate that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hard to blockable. Oh, nice flawless block. Wait a second, Star. Does it go for side switch? Oh, yeah, he does. Ooh, that uh, maybe projectile was not uh, in time. It was too fast for uh, at least he got up. Beautiful mm. teleport. Calling out the back forward, too. Final round. Fight. Walk his way down, teleports to the other side, no punish. Oh, the duck on the throw though. And that's gonna be a full combo coming out of Scar. Uh, and drain the meter too. You're not gonna get the braided to break. I don't want you to break it off. Oh my Ooh. god. That stand two is not gonna reach at all. Then the mid as well. That's a great way to keep yourself safe if you do drop that combo. Oh my goodness, if we chip out at this point too, star. Weathering that storm, poking the special is going to seal it. 2-1 is now the score. The Ashra pick is doing some damage. Yeah, this is a really good way to change up the, the, the momentum that Illy Silly was having. Now, the question is, does Illy Silly go to Sindel? The question that you definitely got to ask right now is, hmm, can you... I will stick with it only because I feel like the armor really does well against Sindel. 
But there's a reason why I'm commentating, not playing, so I'm gonna shut the hell up and I'm gonna do his thing. Yeah, I felt the Sindel coming because I feel like there was not really. Like, now it's the opposite of what we were seeing, right? We were talking about how Melina and Lee May, uh, Melina's the one with the better buttons. But here, with Ashra and Melina, you can't really reach that far as much as you would like. Oh my gosh, right through. Oh, we tried to up block there was nothing right there. You better be careful. Oh, is it, that was a chip guard. Oh no, that's unfortunate. Okay, I like these down threes because it's gonna stop us far from advancing. Then the, there are these uh, full blades in the um, as well from Serena. The backboard twos are getting canceled to really uh, test Illy Silly's reactions. We serve the queen. I'm gonna do none of that. Trip the dash up is crazy. Instead of the space in the movement right now, a lot of the zoning is trying to get past the minefield of who's going to throw out what first. Kind of a game of chicken right now. Oh, get oh. shimmed. Got the left shaker going out. Flaw is blocking on the kick, but no punish. Didn't have a button really fast enough to do so. Oh, oh the intro. Huge right now. For that. Deal with it. Our right, armor's got to come for this time. Yeah, out of there. It's too good. <gasps> misses. Luckily, wasn't even getting anything. Since I left on the block, by the way, Scar's kind of getting kind of desperate here. But it gets the overhead, but that's gonna be a punish. You said that perfectly too, Tento. Scar was getting desperate. It was only five seconds on the clock. There's really not much uh, Ashra can do. It could be either that overhead, and that's when Illy Silly uh, gets right. She pointed at me or like that. Dig. What's she Oh, the armor through. Oh, the, whoa. Whoa. Unfortunately. I thought he had to confirm and just run forward. Yeah, I thought, I think that's what uh, Scar thought too, or rather what Illy Silly thought, but at least it works out because Scar let go of that block too early. We got the jump kick. And that is the scream for the breaker there. <gasps> she can't come out. I mean, Serena. Serena's stuck in the daze. Trying to walk the way down, but it's so tough right now. Gets the overhead to Illy Silly, just firing off all cylinders. The overhead once again. Gets the force you afterwards in your version. You are. That was not bad. Now we're going to projectiles. We keep on doing it. But all the this time around. Chip is a big problem. Way gets through. But gets yep. the overhead flip kick afterwards. Illy Silly's going to take it three to one. That overhead is. So it was too much. I remember I that. Win. Round one. That was a crazy episode. We got Almighty Red Nose versus Dialogue here for our winners finals on TNS. And again, Dialogue with the Kano Cameo and a Red Nose with the Cyrax. We're gonna see how this goes now. Dialogue on this matchup specifically, he doesn't feel too badly about Kenshi. And when I see him fight Kenshi, he's pretty 50 50, you know? Oh, we get down hook though. Oh, plus frames on plus frames. Then yeah. Impressed. I can see why he says that, and I feel like Shao is such a good character uh, to fight against Kenshi's because uh, one, he has the health, and uh, two, he has a really good uh, hip hitbox frames um, when it comes to jump ins uh, as well. Oh my god, I guess the combo on the back door activates it so one more time, and you know what that means. It's party time featuring the Blue Man Group, and the sponsor is Shout. Never mind, Shout says, shut the DJ down. Is it, I'm about to say, Sento's still there, ain't he? Oh no, the overhead good block. I low key forgot about Sento, not gonna lie. Oh, no. uh, this oh he's dead. Yeah. Optimize and make sure he gets it. He, he maximized the most of his damage before that man got breaker. Best thing to do, um, and a great acknowledgement there from Red Nose on the bar as well. Wanted to get that that uh, that fatal uh, before that third bar came back. Definitely did get the overhead axe and Max Cano. He says get out of here, but wait, that's a big whip punish coming out of dialogue, stepping on the man's toes, pushing to the corner. The axe is back. He's but right back in the ground too. My God. Oh, that was cheap, brother. What? 
some of these daggers here, and then you get the overhead. This is Axeless Shall. So you're gonna have to hold all of that. And I think that you per you phrase it perfectly, Tento, 50-50. And we're gonna see that here in these back and forth matches. Uh, every game is not gonna be based on the game, it's based on the round and how Dialog manages to handle it. Beautiful up block though from Red Nose. He's gonna get the helicopter from Cyrax and get the side switch into the center sandwich. Oh, the sandwich is the worst price to be because it's not Subway, it's not fresh, okay? It's dirty, it's nasty. I don't wanna look at it. Make it go away. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wait, 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 wait. Throwing the decks down. Everything could change. Oh yeah, this could definitely change here. Especially with the Axeless Shell. Some nice. Oh, Block Volcano was there to cover his ass. Oh no, plus. Ooh. Oh, I thought Command Grab was coming too, and he gets smacked once again. Has to spin that three bars. Sento. This is doable. It's just, oh gosh. Mm. You say that, and then we see Sento. But the block <gasps> on the Axe Slam, a great matchup knowledge check here. He but jumped now... out for free! No way! And now Sento's gone. Wait. Sound warm check? Wait. Wait. Thank Yo! There was no way he just jumped out of there for free. That was actually insane to me. I've I, never I seen think someone that was also out. that was pretty crazy because usually when you jump out of that situation, uh, Sento messes you up. But I think that's one of those things where like Dialog just takes those risks and and again, you know, hey, we're, we're if we're gonna lose the if we're gonna lose the 50-50, we're gonna try for our pity, as our gotcha players like to say. Might as well. Might as well. Yeah, in that case, I'm starting to see Red Nose starting to get a read on that uh, Axe. As you guys know, a block is a great mechanic to use, especially when it comes to overhead. And since uh, Axe is an overhead, it actually negates the pushback and allows for a punish. This is why it's really important for Dialog to switch up his timing when it comes to the Axe Slam. Instead of going for Dan 2 2 into Axe Slam, going into it raw just like he did right there, go for Stan 1 into it just to throw off that timing for that up block. Oh god, he gets it raw. Brother, 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 brother. Okay, never mind, you good. A block once again. Did he just de- Yeah. Grown ass okay. man. My fault. Oh, we take out Sento as well. Now, Sento's back in its sheath. Let's try to crack this man. Oh, wait, on the screw. Big jump. Oh, he back dash. He's so lucky. There's a lot of uh, tools that Shao is using here, or uh, rather that Dialog has been able to utilize every single time. Um, it's been range and uh, reach, like here right now. Beautiful mm. up block bait as well. This is going to hurt a lot. 17%. Tries to jump away because of Sento. We're going to use Breaker though. Ooh, he's trying to go for the alley -oop and goes for it two times? Nah, he wouldn't go for it three times. What do y'all know? He doesn't give out Sento. But here's the thing, if he actually gets one hit confirmed, it's actually going into DP into Fatal. Gotta be careful. Mm -hmm. Just walking down the slight Cupid Shuffles. There's the Cupid Shuffle from Dialog. Double down three. Overhead oh. into it. That's it. That's it. Oh my god. This oh man no. really did it. Oh no. Oh my god. He went through that storm. There's no way. Red Nose with the clutch. Plus, oh my god, he chopped down that man's leg. He already can't see, brother. You gonna take away his, his ability to walk, too? Yes. Too much. Turn him into Charles Xavier? Oh my goodness, the golf swing. Able to hit that golf swing. And we're gonna keep the corner pressure as well. That one check. Backing away just a little bit. King of Ball. Out, Ball's blocking the King of Ball. Oh, that's there. Plus, no, he knows he has highs. You can't do much about that. Nice Ball's block. Trying to get away from Sinto, but he's always going to chase you. He's always there. He's the ghost of your past. Hey, hey, huh? Uh, oh, he's dead. 
Good choice for Red Nose to hold on to Breaker. It would have been a little bit hard to actually use Breaker and then make the comeback here. Whereas now you can use it. Uh, take this damage, Red Nose. I'm gonna get another axe and another setup. Command grab. Oh, oh man. Oh no. Not good right now for Red Nose. Oh, you oh. thought. Oh, you tried to put the vocal right there. I think Zylock is taking it on purpose so that it's not a full screen that the Cyrax helicopter is um, taking taking him. He wants to stay as close as possible, but he has the launcher here from Sento on the backside. Who gets the overhead? The go for it again. And he just swings. He says not even deal with that big fat axe. Has so much space. In hey. Hey. Wins. Currently up 2-0 is Dialock in the winners finals, trying to solidify himself into that grand finals top two guarantee once you make it to that grand finals winner's side. General Shaw. You guys root for Red Nose, you need to make some noise, I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah, let Red Nose know that you're cheering for Sorry, Kenshi. <laughs> Well, I had to say it like that. With you Earth Can't stand the losing. I feel like you're implying that uh, people don't like Kenji. Round one. Fight. Away. I think that was a flawless block too, so that was actually avoiding some chip damage. Oh, beautiful hope. Nice hug block. And Sinto came back, I don't even know. Now he's really back. He's ready for all the action. Block strings for days, but armor's through once again. Just know. That's it's so nice to see um Dialog, who's very uh experienced in this matchup, it feels like. Um, because he is um armor um, armor launching in between the gaps of Sento, and that's like putting him in such a great position. Like, this is honestly a great opportunity for anybody who's struggling with Kenshi to see how a character like General Shao and a player like Dialog have been able to handle him. Oh my God. He's gonna get another excellent off of this. Oh my goodness, it's party time. That was Ooh. so cheap. Why did you go for something like that? My God. It's Dialog, Florida boys. We like the cheapness. Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> Always oh, just hope. Nice up block, but. How many need to find this hit? He gets armor through once again. He gets shim. Two bar spin, and guess what? He gets into out once more. You can't get hit, because if you get hit, you actually die. Activates the sandwich. Defense coming out of dialogue. Oh, he gets smacked on the way down. Oh, that sucks. Oh no, he dropped it though. Central time is going away. That one check. No Kano <gasps> knives! Ooh. Goes plus frames, and that's gonna be a big jump, and that's gonna do a dialogue 3 0 to secure himself into Grand Finals winner's side. Amazing. I'm just smiling so hard right now because I'm bookmarking this. It looks like we're gonna get the chameleon regardless, and we'll see how El Kakubi does uh, against against this. Um, you know, again, clean 3-0 last time. Let's see if it can happen again, or if Dark Elite, who's very warmed up right now, uh, can make can make something work here with magic. I'm just gonna try to do so, but you're inside Johnny's crib right now, and um, good luck with that. Because there's, there's, there's a whole duck in there with sunglasses. You all see that? Four shields up, oh, not negating all this. It's really the zoning that's in this matchup where it's just like, man, what do you do when this man activates force field? You negate half the move. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness, beautiful check. Beautiful Melina size right there. That was like a great call out for what El um, from what Dark Elite was gonna try to do. Jumps away from the Jake Razor Glaives. Another Eagle goes out, Torpedo, and then Katana Fanlip. It's not gonna be the further one. We got the restand though. That Bad was really combo. good. 
that was, oh, that did combo. You actually not lying about it. That was um, that was really smart from Kokori right to do the close fan lift because he knew Dark was gonna try to chase him down, but he threw off the timing by doing the close one and close far one. Oh my gosh, shot the woman in the toe. It's Harlem Knights. Safe jump. Oh no, you going for the damage. And right back to back it up. He knows he's winning the space game. There's the back three there from Dark Elite, but it's not enough to actually start something. Block, does not block the Enders. They get hit by Eagle twice in a row. And then there's those gunshots again. It forces you to block right after. And, and that's where this matchup gets really, really frustrating. Oh, there goes that kick. Got the gunshots you just wasted, Jay. Oh, no. This ain't looking too good at all. Dead. Be chip at this point. You do. Bird is the word. I knew you were gonna say that at one point. I, like I was bad, waiting bad, for bad, it. The bad ass, the bad. I like the bad, bad, bad. The bad ass, the bad. This cute Peter Griffin just dancing in the kitchen. It's not cute. Literally, they had to throw away the album because they couldn't stand his annoying butt. Okay. Still losing the hearts. Mmm, Sub Zero. Huh? Trying to gate some of that zone. Well, family. hold this 4 4 being that you big boot that has just mad range. Uh, this might, this should help technically on paper uh, with the, the projectiles, but again, that's if uh, Dark Elite doesn't get tripped up and, and plays a more footsie based game. Oh, from this, but we have that 2 2 that reaches. Still gonna get hit by tornado though. Or torpedo though. Oh, did the early one too again. The Eagles just do a little extra damage too. What the hell? Um, remember that that Eagly is summoned to stop the cameos. Did it stop the cameo in that moment? I feel like it did extra damage to the attack. Oh, oh my god, that was so good with this. Okay, that should have been like a full bar. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, they dumb. All right, the duck. Oh, now I like that meter game right there. Cute. Cheeky. Oh, not. He doesn't care. He has his head. All right, the bird's getting negated. That's what the up block. The double down one into the chase down. He's going to wake up armor again. Oh, that's a good punish. I think that was also a chip too, so unfortunately Final Breath does not go into play until the final round. Got to back up. You see um, the boy kind of throwing out the, you know, of course, torpedo, but throwing out down three as well just to stop that approach because it's his disjoint button to get rid of that ice armor. Mm-hmm. Punish? Oh, yes, sir. We're also seeing um, more of Dark Elite being more, a little bit more conservative and just trying to uh, get closer um, and really challenge Elder Kui. May not be the most optimal, but just trying to challenge it regardless. There goes that easily again. Now, walking away. Let's go for the speed of what's more, and there it goes. Two can Sambo. Wait a minute, gets through. And Katana looks like coming through with a save. Shout out to Chameleon. Shoots the foot one more time. Hey. And get the full combo. Huh? Safe jump. Oh, oh. Oh, get the back throw. That's gonna do it. Oh my god, why did you read him? That was such a hard read there from El Kakui, and it worked out in his favor. Yeah, man. They may turn into a librarian for a split second. I wouldn't have thought I saw it. And that's already up El Kakui 2-0 against Dark Elite. Possible elimination point for Dark Elite. Could actually closed out in fourth place unless he digs deep and finds a character that can deal with this man. Like, what does it read? He's taking a second. He's got to think about it. He's got a lot to think about. You're only getting lost by a bird for the entire time. Peacemaker. Booyah! I do like the Sub Zero cameo pick. Chameleon. I just—it's this is such this is like really hard because 
Uh, El Kukui is actually stopping, um, like you said, with that down three. It's been working out really well, but it's just... Um, I don't know if it's maybe because this is the character that has too many highs, and that's why it can't stop. Like it can't stop that momentum. Because um, I think when we saw, uh, I believe it was Red Nose that was fighting against this, had the mid to stop that. We were talking about how that mid against Peacemaker uh, really makes that difference. See if this is the this is the change we need. Hopefully, it is the mid. I'm not strong right now. It's dark. You gotta make sure you keep this man in the corner and make sure he stays there. Get him out that offensive lane. Wait a sec. He just fights his way out of the corner immediately. That was so easy, bro. Dash jump into overhead. Another safe jump. Back throw. You gotta watch out for throwing his face. All the easy is going out right now. Field stops the single blade for Nina. Oh no! Oh. Oh, open to that, and he gets a combo on the other side. That's it. Uh uh. A. Oh, he didn't get the dart, but he gets a shimmy. Set point. I don't know what's gonna happen here, Saki. It's not looking good for dart. No, it's not. It's looking really tough right now. Oh, oh. oh block. he outblocked me. You see, this, this is why, Tento, I can't see why people are complaining about Upblock. Upblock has never been the problem, except that it's just inconsistent in some ways. Saki, I want you to stop saying people and trust to start saying Tekken Master. It's only no, one it's dude. No, it's painful, Tento. No, it was people. him starting the propaganda. It was him, okay? <laughs> so I'm blaming people, him. There's some people complaining, too. All right, I'm concluding them in this and this, too. It's that guy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Elite's gotta make something happen here. Oh, Gets hit by the glaives. Oh, oh the kick! The breaker just at the last second, but the dart again into the torpedo! Brutality. Alright. Yeah, Batman's that not gonna do that. Might be overkill. Peacemaker win. If it was a tournament, I feel like it would you could actually still back out. Because it has to choose the stage, right? So it's like even if it was an offline, you still have the chance to change it. But we're here. We're going through with it. We got the Sub-Zero pick, and uh, we're going to go with Tanya and Goro here on Natsukui's side. About to find out right now. Poor people are mad working. Oh my god, I was saying it. Blue guy is out once again. Beat sponsored by Tanya this time around. Just listen to the sound of her going, um, you know, dying. Overhead great kicks here to go for the launch. We're gonna charge up. We actually stopped. Uh, I think that was probably to throw out Sento. That was a great choice here for Melkuku to go for that meaty. Minus four on that. Four spin once again and armor through Goro. There's a home to the team. And backing up is the boy. Why? Because he has a life lead. This man does have Sento. What can you do other than call out Sub Zero? Why are you not doing it? Never mind. You believe? Okay. I see something. Believe, but nope, nope. It doesn't work out. What a waste. Three bars gone just like that. Fight. Okay. Once again, Red Nose trying to close in on the gap here. Goes the mid check. Down one checks as well from Mel Kui. Sub Zero Ice Armor is out. I'm gonna get a swing. Oh my god, you've been swinging and just fighting right there. It's crazy. You just let him do that for free. Oh no. Oh, oh. I think the chandelier swing. <laughs> Singing off the chandelier. Oh yeah, that song plays in my head every time I see that girl go through here. <laughs> Oh, I like that. That was actually really nice. Using ice armor and then uh, having Sub Zero do shoulder ice push. So safe with the plus frames. Oh my goodness, the throw. Toes back up, but he doesn't do it. Oh, wait, no, he got him way in time. That's crazy. Red Nose only needs a hit. <gasps> that was the hit. That oh. was the hit. And he caught him wrong. It's so scrambly. 
Sento's out thanks to the ice armor. Throws out the sword, and then Sento comes from support from the behind. Trying to hit me and hit me? That's crazy. You're a blind man, Sento. Okay, you know what? She will treat you like a piata. Saying like that, bro. Tiles are going out right now. Just uh, does jump the overhead, and we're gonna get the back throw. Oh, activate the buff. Just in the range of those normals. And oh my goodness, I can't do a projectile on him. I like to mm -hmm. yeah. this man down. That sweep was uh, a really good decision, forcing T or Retnos to use the breaker. Okay, I like it. Thanks to that armor. He's gonna bring out Sento, but it doesn't look like Sento's gonna be going out for long. Is on cooldown still. The bar is going down slowly. There goes the forward throw. And now, very close, Sento will be disappearing very shortly. And he does. Oh, it's it's here. Oh no. Oh no. Mm. One hit. Oh, he gets rid of Sento. That's all he needed to do. And he. Wait, I, did he actually die because Sento got hit? I think so, actually, Tento. I think that's exactly what happened because Red Nose was still blocking, and I don't think it was a chip out situation. Um, because I think uh Red Nose had at least one bar uh to final breath to take place. But because in the last patch, uh it, it was done that Sento takes, I believe, ten points of damage, that's what added everything together. Damn. Can can't die for Sento? Okay, I'll... he got shimmed. Check ah. confirm. The man's dead, no matter what. It's a result. Boy, take it first game. To make it even? You know, that's interesting that Kenshi can't die down because down of Sento, but I can die because I do blood sacrifice at like five points. Sounds like you need to switch gear at this point. It's like that, bro? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, I understand. Oh my gosh, almost once again. Can't go into the chandelier, my boy. Oh, the throw once again, too. Start to add up Kakoi. Definitely has the rental right now. That samurai run, bro. You don't know, sit down somewhere. Toss him again. Think about your outfit. Oro is just tossing uh, Red Nose right now. Those plus frames, and then the sweep again. Sweet being the best option to knock down both Red Nose and uh, stop Red Nose from pressing right after. Oh my god, that Red Nose is so good. Gets the low this time around, does not break his Red Nose, and it pretty much sacrifices round, unless you find a hit. Let's get Shim. Oh, no punish though. And just Beautiful stops mid! Didn't really confirm off of it, but we do get the finisher right after. That was such a nice mid to read uh, the forward advancement that Red Nose was trying to do. El Kukui really trying to show off that, like, the Tanya pick was the play here. It was just a matter of not being in the right amount of points uh, to switch back to the Tanya. Boy team massive damage puts him in the set, puts him in the corner, but it has the sandwich set up, and we're already out the corner because this man keeps on doing 4 4. Jesus. <laughs> Those legs are so cheap. <laughs> Man. Oh, wait, it's the back throw. I don't believe in this comeback, but it can definitely happen. It can happen to you. Mm, this is really hard because Tanya doesn't have damage like most of the cast does. It's more of like utility um, and, and pressure. Oh, Ooh, my there's God. the whip punish. Not like this. Not like oh, do the throw too early, and that's gonna be it. Oh my gosh! Letting a blind man jump at you like that is crazy. Fight. Oh, he shot the hell out of Cyrax. You saw that? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's he gets me. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, you try to do the cheap stuff with Sento again. Boy, Sekka finds a clean hit. I like that break. He didn't want to allow him to get Sento reactivate. Oh, but wait a second. Sento's back in play. Sorry, Sento's almost, I should say. 
Okay, uh, I think we need to go. 31%. Good. Gonna be a down one check here for Magnos. The duck to avoid and pop. Oh, beautiful editor. He oh, went the drill. drill. Oh. Yo. No yes, he did. Finish him. Oh, the bags too. <laughs> Just let him know. Yep. Let him know. Alright, El Kakui up 2 0. Oh, a big difference here than from the uh, last matches that we saw um, earlier in the, the evening under winner semis. Kakui definitely making the adjustments right now. Red Nose, you gotta dig deep. Are you gonna switch to the Johnny or are you gonna stick it out with the Kenshi? Tanya. Kenshi. Oh, we stick it out. No way, unless. Um... Still thinking. I what I think the question is can Johnny check Tanya after she does her mid? I feel and like after, enough. Wait. I I kinda would like to see Red Nose's Johnny for this. Uh, you're you're on potentially the last game. Johnny the Kenshi hasn't been working. Doro. I kind of feel like this might be the change up that we could probably see here. It's a good Johnny. It's not a bad one, and it's not a crusty one. So. Chameleon. Yep, chameleon. Ooh. Johnny with the chameleon at that. These stupid clap and other stuff. In this corner. Four <laughs> he's a, he's a, it's from his uh, sci fi movie, one, you know? Someone yeah, truly the sci unimpressed. Holy crap, that emo is insane. Round not gonna talk one. about it. Fight. Backing up immediately. Playing the space game. He gets J all the way, but because um, Million got hit, the J the glade didn't come back. Mm -hmm. Oh, does it? I think it's. I think the armor is actually what screwed that up there. Right through. 71. Like I said, the mind game is not interesting because with 4-2, you can't throw out the full string of the Koi because uh, Johnny can actually go through the parry right through it, so he's kind of scary. So you gotta double check that. There from El Red Nose did get some uh, height meter built up thanks to the Jade Glow, but oh, at what cost, right? His life. <laughs> yeah. Now he's, on, he's facing a set point. The Koi is about to take this man out. Wait a damn minute. And I heard a ding, that means the install is there. Hype me just all the way field. Oh man, that safe jump wasn't safe enough. Oh my god. Nut punch. Oh, what? Oh no. What go with the buttons? Wait, the floor throw. You could just wake up Shadow Kick. I, I would I would just do it. He went for it. I respect it. I respect it too. I also like that Red Nose kept that star meter because that this can help in this last round. Oh, you don't have to that up again. There it goes. It's on. Ooh. Ooh. Win. No. Not a good look. And the is gonna go away too. What a waste of a hype meter. The spotlight is gone. Mm-hmm. Oh, waiting for the armor. Get the float. Hey, hey. Uh -huh. Take the cojones. Oh my god, two or one for all that. But wait a second, all that just to get armor wake up on. You really hate to see it. You know, that didn't do as uh, as much damage as Rendon's really would have wanted. Because I think of the fan lift skill. So now it's now when the damage is actually being applied here. Beautiful. Mm. To avoid the throw. And that's the side switch, charging up the buff. Jayco is up. There goes the glasses thrown to charge up the height meter. Another height meter, not necessarily full right now. It is full, but at the cost of Red Nose's life, and he's dead, Tento! He's dead! He's dead, and this man, Kokoi, is back. He said, you sent me the losers, but you're not going to take me out, bro. Yeah, hold that. The down input is definitely working. The down on the D-pad is definitely doing massive time. This Kind of I tough. told you, I want peace. Yep, here's the peacemaker. When you're dead. 
So you're heavily dead, bro. That's crazy. Frame one, just kill the man? All right. Grand Finals on deck, guys. Between Katoi and Dylax. Dylax going to be on player one side, the winner side, and um, Katoi going to be on player two. And he's using Mataro. This one, this, I didn't expect the Mataro. See, this is why I was mentioning, like, this is not something that uh, I was going to be too sure of and, like, to really call out here because El Kukui, you're playing against El Kukui. You're not just playing against the character. So let's see how Dylax manages it here. Bro, no, this it feels like a minefield. This is ridiculous. But hey, Motaro's doing some work though. Minefield seems to feel like it's on El Kakui's side, who's just been able to stop Dialog from even advancing just a little bit. Wait, he says up the axe. He tried to wake up with some buttons, and Kakui said, "I mean, uh, Dialog said none of that. Hold this overhead." Oh my God, the blow dart breaks. He believes. And I, I do like that the force field really just helps in case uh, the Motaro shield comes out. There goes the down three, which stops the advancement. Another down three. He's shooting them toes, brother. He is shooting them toes. That down two. You really saw the muscles there from uh, John Cena. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's definitely flexing it up. Like, Eagle in the face is crazy. He didn't go for more damage, which I'm, I'm wondering if it was just because like it was a, it was a like he didn't expect the razor blade to hit. I think at this point he just three trips like you know. Oh my god, oh my makes this man god. he's so frustrated by the stand back. I don't need to come in because you're getting frustrated. Look, are you trying to walk me down? Hold the bird. Ooh, oh, not good at all. Jesus. Bro, yeah. he doesn't care. No, he does not. And that's already one on the board for El Kukui. Peace maker. You know, I, I, every time I look at a uh, peacemaker, I remember what Steph said um, on the combat cast, how he's supposed to be this brawler and then we look at how players like El Kukui, Sunio, and many other players using Peacemaker. Again, we haven't even gone to the anti-gravity layer. This is just layer one. You guys ain't worried about anti-gravity. What it can do with the stuff you can pull out with the right cameos too. It's actually just... Man, it's... It's, it's, it's actually bad. The double bird again, bird is the word. He tries to go for the step, but no. Catches him out the air, though. Plus, he doesn't care. So now he has equal. He doesn't care. Jesus. Oh, he just hell, I can't. You saw that? The armor through, though. I think El Kukui did try to uh, keep it safe with the fan lift, but again, it's the armor that was a launcher and it's a high, so. Ooh, try to shoot the foot. Anti oh no way. Couldn't get the combo though, and that could have been a bigger punish. Like patient. Shoots the throw one more time. Plus frames, but doesn't care. Why? Because you have nothing but highs, okay? The mid is not good enough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those big razor blades, oh, but whoa. It kind of trips up just a little bit, but we got the katana fan lift. Combo going. Nice ducks. It gets the mid. Oh no. I see cookies in my future. Round two. Five. Four steel. Jokuda. Eagles. Ten. Down three. Land. Eagles. You get the combo though. Low dart. It wasn't. It was a little too late. It wasn't full call. We do get the armor torpedo right after. And again, Ely once more. Bro, yo, El Kukui is just in Dylon's head right now. It's insane. It is so so insane. Okay, here we go. The blow dart once again forces the breaker. Here goes the force field. Another blow dart. And then that should be it into the brutal and El Kukui in already a quick 2-0 with this peacemaker. No one can stop him right now. Dialogue struggling. 
with this, I think we might see the switch to Chameleon as an assist, but, you know, again, it has just been frustrating to be dealing with uh, the level of control that uh, Kukui has. Yep, there's the Chameleon pick. That's usually what Dialect me. does, is uh, rotates through the cameos. Um, and again, I feel like the Kino has been substantially really strong. The Motaro was really there, but... This is Peacemaker. This is force field after force field. Then the blow darts to call out. You usually try to like mix that in. And that's like your layer two. And again, we're already back on that full screen. The blow dart to call out the Katana fan lift. Jade Razor Glaze just in case Dialogue was trying to jump. Oh, but here we go. But forcing the breaker here. Absolutely back on the full screen. Also puts on uh, the force field to avoid the Jade Razor Glaze. But we do see the Katana fan lift coming in, jumping in right as Eagly goes out and catching El Kukui's back walk as well. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But killing the birds. It's so tough. You gotta keep this man in the corner, but he gets to have so many ways to keep himself out. Oh, wait. Catch him walking forward, and that's gonna be it. A lot. Get an extra meter, too. Put him in and out on the X. There's a chance, Saki. There's a chance. There's definitely a chance, I believe. Oh my god, not what you can red like that. Mm, okay, it's good spacing. Though. Really good spacing. Oh, red? I like to poke out the words. Oh, he's staggering. I like that Dialog can play a little bit more defense here in some aspects and then try to actually come in either waiting for the right community in disguise, but yeah, right now it's El Kukui who's taking control of the corner and being optimal. I think that's like the first time or second time we actually got to see oh. it. El Kukui do 34 damage, but the up block gets thrown from 17%. Oh wait, big mm. jump, but didn't believe. That could have been it. He literally could have confirmed and the fatal would have been done. Now he's about to get oh zoned out for the rest of his match. He's about to get zoned out for the rest of the time. Oh, this sucks so much. Eagly's coming. Eagly's coming. Eagly's coming. Torpedo. Oh my god, the torpedo. torpedo is coming. <laughs> Sento, it's the torpedo. That was so... Man, all he had to do was legit. If he confirmed that combo in the Fatal, it could have been a different story. But now... Of course, he could possibly reset this bracket. Hello? That was an <laughs> Both of them were armored. I feel like that's what happened there. So there's not really much to, uh, that, like, it could have just, like, traded in that mo moment. But again, back to the full screen zoning. Oh, cool combo. Ooh, does it get the link this time around? Beautiful Ooh. points here. Very nice. Has to break. Shot the man in the foot. Oh, oh. dude, up block. And Gorgeous. that's gonna be a reset. Oh my god, his body. He's go it's nothing but an axe. That might be overkill. Brutality. What if the axe had gone and destroyed? What would have happened? You know. They gotta fire a shout somehow. Like, where you go? Here's his axe. It's oh, his pool of blood. Oh. Yeah, shout died. I don't know if they got detectives out there in that world, but it's just like, yeah, he's um he's definitely dead. Temple of Kataravala. You're nuts if you think you scare me. Right? Bracket reset has happened, everyone. And now Dylock has lost the life in tournament. And what a 3-0 it was, too. 3-0 it was, and this is looking mighty scared of the reset is here, so that means Dylock is down in that loser side of the bracket and he has a fight back in some way to try to make this happen. I don't know. Actually, I have never seen Dylock play a single other character other than um, Shadow in this game. Oh, he's gonna get a conversion. But he caught the back dash. Wait a minute. I like the little patience there. I was trying to call out the down three, but it's gonna be a forward throw from El Capri. in this corner. Oh my oh, no. god! Oh my gosh! Oh, he tried to blow Darby into that. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what you trying to do? No bird of the word out here. It's a fatal blow. Is that going to kill? I think it is. Yeah, yes, I think good. it is. Because the, the, the yeah. Jade Blade... Oh, sorry. The Jade Staff does quite a bit. Take a knee on the hold on. That lot getting around. He's been getting some rounds, but he just needs to close out. Oh my god, he's good twice. No fear. You guys heard a double um double eagle. You heard a double torpedo. That's a new type of that's actually a very scary story I don't want to see. No, no, stop that, Tento, stop yeah, that's, it. That's not that's not something I want to see at all. I'm not gonna lie. The fear in Dialect's eyes as he takes the throw. Doesn't want to get hit by anything too big damage, but we do reach here. Use El Capil using Breaker. The Melina oh. Fall Roll. Ooh. Flawless Blocks gets Aim. the throw. Aim. Oh no, went for the down three right after the blow dart. But almost through once again, he doesn't care. Are you satisfied? For Koi. Final round. Fight. Eagle. Force field. You know, sometimes I wonder if Eagle is okay. Force field. The amount of times he headbutts people. Like, are you good, Eagle? Oh my <laughs> goodness. Yeah, he's obviously very good because he's going to keep doing it for days. This man, dialogue. Eagle. It's so tough, and I'm seeing he hasn't activated Jay Glade. Oh, I mean, I mean Jay's low too much. Ain't it? Um, actually, he has tried, but by the time it goes on, he's in block stun and chip. Uh, sorry, blocking and taking chip actually turns off the glow. So it's actually been the fact that I can't really zone back, except oh, in these moments, and then there you have it. God. Blow dart into torpedo into dead man is dead once again. There's nothing but an axe. What do you do? What do you do? I don't want to call a 6 0, but Jesus. Four games straight right now for Koi. General Shaw. Booyah! Chameleon. And that, like, like I said, I don't know if he has any other characters. I've only seen him play Shao. I don't know if he has any other characters. Are all from your realm so self deluded? There we go. I, I, I'm really hoping it's not the 6 0. I mean, we do have the Chameleon cameo for Dialogue, but again, it's just this part of you have to reach El Kapui, like, right now. To be able to deal the damage that Shao's good, like really good at, and then get pressure uh, to stop uh, El Kui. But another thing too is that, like we've mentioned, some of these frame traps, it's literally either you get armor broken or you get down one check because everything's a high. So, you know, this has definitely been a tough battle here for uh, Zylock, who is right now in the corner despite getting a strong start at the beginning. The thing is kind of this man down, but. Thing is, all that work for him to just get out the corner immediately by a family. Spirit goes out. All right, there's the Jade Glaive. That's gonna force a breaker here from Dialog. He's actually gonna use it. I like the double jump. The lead. Slam platformers. Just walk over here now. Blocks it. Gets the punish, and they're gonna get the kill. I luck once again in that first round, but he needs to take a game bad. Fight. Oh, we oh, stopped stuck. the ambush. More gunshots and gunshots. Trying to walk this man down like truly. Trying to get his way to the corner, but the Jay Glaze, the Eagle, wait a second. He didn't know he had the bird. Wait a second. He, he's going to poke back that Mika Perm into the axe knee. Oh no. Not like this. Three blocks though from Dialogue. Is this the first game? Is this the first game he's taking, Saki? Is Florida Boys up? Don't, the time? don't you curse it! I, I didn't swear curse to God, it. Tento! No, I, didn't, I didn't even curse it, bro. See, look, he's already gonna close. He's about to close that look. Okay. I told you. I swear to God, I, every time 
there's like that health, I get scared of you talking, Tento. So sorry. I get scared of you talking because you tend to like curse things and I, I just, I don't want to risk it. I don't want it to be risked. That's See, all. See, okay. I know when stuff is over, okay? There's sometimes I do, I do know I curse some, I can admit I do curse something, but there's definitely sometimes I know when it's dead ass over. And that was over. Right, that is one, tied one to one right now. Dialogue versus El Kakui. Cause I clocked that epic six pack you're rocking. Hold on. Crazy. Checking out Shao. That's insane. He's a dragon man. Oh my god, walking down to the corner. Dialogue. No, Shao's always been a dragon, what? Yeah, he's a dragon man. Yeah. Yeah, check it out. That's crazy. No. What you is even crazier. What's going on, Gary? Hold on. Alright, here we go. That's the startup of momentum that uh, Dialogue needs here. It's gonna allow Elkakuni to get out of the corner. Tried to call out with the axe swing, but still, this damage should be good enough to get close to the out situation, yeah. Bro, it's actually like Dialog is making the adjustments that's needed. He is currently technically in the lead for the first time. Yeah. You know, after like what? Seven games? The adaptations, you know? We hold North not because you're super key. But backs up. So you know what? I realize you can't you can't get in. You can't win if you don't get in, right? So he's getting in. He just goes for the boot right afterwards. It's crazy. Like this new he's gonna challenge that was so good from Kokoi, but you don't have the bird. Oh no. Don't jump again. That's actually pretty combo. Do it again. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> I think Dialogue knew. That was either it good or a full hit, so might as well accept the hit. Put those up, please. More best shots. Walk them down. Wait a minute. This is huge. This is oh, that like. You gotta make sure he lives in the corner. He doesn't get out. He doesn't. He Beautiful. Doesn't. Yep. Perfect. This is exactly what Dylock wanted. Oh no, tried to no. There we go. Armor launchers. I like that. I like that. Makes those a timing because he knows he wanted to go for Eagle instead. Nice. Good blocks. I Made mean, it spit a lot of bar, but no, he doesn't have the air. One moment is all that's needed. A moment of weakness. Either end. A hit can kill. A hit can kill for Dylock. El Kukui is the one that will we'll need to spend a couple of resources to try to get a hit in. Now we're now we're nearing to the. <gasps> He's the oh, Plus, yeah. jump. Stay down safe. Another down one was so good. Gets him, but he held north. Not pressure. Dialogue should not drop the combo. He is going to take game number three. He's up two one in the set. Yo, yo, yo. North really coming to fruition right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's working, Tento. It's working. It's the formula. The formula. It's all coming together. It's the plan. It's the story. We gotta finish the story. <laughs> uh, for those wondering uh, why Eagly tends to not come out sometimes, Eagly has a three second cooldown. So I believe once you use both versions, there is like Eagly is not in play um, for three seconds. So that's why sometimes uh, El Kukui, while he is trying to throw out Eagly a couple of times, uh, there is a slight three second cooldown for that. Wait a minute. That's a command grab. Wait, this is a great, great start off. Dialogue. He's showing you guys. You guys always talk about Peacemaker zoning. Peacemaker this, Peacemaker that. The bird is doing this, bird is doing that. Guess what? I'm showing you guys. You can get past it, okay? He's being a real believer. You guys didn't know? Now you know. Micro-ducking the throw and he'll pay off that uh, he'll get. 
able to be back at full screen. But I love what you said, Sento. Dialog says, matchup? Bad matchups? What are those? Who's she? Who is she? I don't know her. Right out the words, folks is time. Mm -hmm. Oh, my poke is better. A, and I get a full combo. Give me a safe jump. Oh, he just backs up. That's a full. He's going for gunshots that time. Oh, oh no. wow. Oh no, the grab. That was so brave. That was a lot of damage. That's the most damage to throw out of all of them. Beetle's mm. coming. Beetle's <gasps> oh, coming. No. Oh my god. I'm fucking good. Torpedo twice in a row. Only you could do that with Peacemaker. The first time he did a roll, but the second time he put some armor on it, okay? He put a little bit of rubber on it too. But wait a second to throw. Oof. Mm -mm. Jade, uh, Chameleon gets hit, so the blade doesn't go out. Tries to jump over eagerly. We have a hidden. Uh, I think Dialog is trying to uh, somewhat connect that axe slam, but at least it's mm. put him without the axe. So this is where Shao is in that win condition in his most powerful form. Beautiful reach here. Jade blow on. But again, if you're blocking, the glow goes away faster. Oh, that doesn't work when she's slightly airborne. Good to know. Good to know. Force field. Staggers into a full throw. Oh, this is huge. So lucky to have a time to get a full combo, though. Mm. Force field coming just in the nick of time. I'm trying to walk this man down. Little by little. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's plus. But he doesn't care. He's going to shoot you in the toe. Oh, the golf swing. swing! But the breaker! Oh my god, he doesn't care. Glow dart. But that yeah. bird is the word once more. Guess what? Final game, final round between these two. Who's going to take TNS number 26 for MK1? Saki is too much. I buy heart. too much. This is heart. too much. Florida versus New York. I'm sorry, New Jersey. They don't claim New York out there. I apologize. I want to correct you, myself. They would rather claim New Jersey? Okay. All right. Well then. Man, the way the way I ain't never seen um unjust yell at me the one time I said this um that he's from New Jersey. I mean New York and he was like, bro, I'm from Jersey. I'm like, oh my fault, gay. I didn't know your voice even got like that. Alright, I think I like that dialogue's taking the minute here. Um to breathe and then go into it. You were talking about it earlier, how it's really important to kind of like slow down the games. Especially so close, right? And this is grand finals. This is after the bracket reset. This is everything. Have to, have to, have to. This is definitely everything. Final game, final round. One's in the chat if you want dialogue to take it. Two's in the chat if you want the court to take it. It is time to see which one of these boys is taking home the cash. But that throw, thrown off early. The court. Oh no, gunshot. Oh but no, I whipped. I wonder, I wonder if the self defense just got wasn't in too close. That can happen sometimes, especially on the stages. Beautiful folk afterwards do not care about the plus frames. More gunshots. <gasps> Empty. Mm. Oh, he gets caught though. It goes right back to Tony. And the gunshot afterwards. It's so tough. And Jay got shot. That's chip. Potential set point right now for El Kukui. I really like that El Kukui was able to combo off of literally easily uh, Melina size and then gunshot. That really like made the difference there um, in those uh, and in that full screen situation. Truthfully maximizing. What sucks right now is this dialogue is taking so much damage, not only from just getting hit by the projectile, but because his cameo is getting hit also. Yeah, and that tends to be where the more damage off the chip happens. I want to be like very careful. Oh wait, try to focus this man, but none of that. Locks him down with the blade. Try to go for another gunshot. Command grab? No, he doesn't. Okay, down three. And then there goes Eagly. He's out of there. That's not what Dylock needed. Dylock really wanted to keep out the corner. Wake up, up with it. Up. Oh my god. Oh, purple oh, no. Yo, the that walk down. down was 
crazy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I the problem is, he makes them. Not, he breaks. What he makes is all it takes? Oh my god. Final that final yo, round. someone clipped that walk down. That was really final godlike. Field. That was final very much. Uh, There's that luck. He don't want to die. He's shallow. Of course he doesn't. That's 1100 health. <gasps> oh, wait. He has Jim. That's the worst way. And that's extension two. Goes to the torpedo. No, he tried to chase him down, but the armor on armor didn't work out too well for him. He has first field up, and now he's got to walk his way down once again. This sucks, this sucks, this sucks. He spawns blocking the bird, though. Wait, hello? Okay. Starting that pressure. Jumps again, but doesn't a forward jump, so it jumps in place. Watch out for bull dart. No, man, you gotta watch out for torpedo instead. No, watch out for torpedo! That's the one that you gotta watch out for! It's every single time oh. El Kukui gets in. Okay. Try to walk your way down. Four, four. Oh! Is that, wait, is Did that? No, 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 no. You gotta go to Fable. You gotta go to Fable. You gotta go to Fable. Go, go. You didn't? You went for no, no, mix? No, no, because it would have, it wouldn't have killed. But it still would have put him in a better position. Plus <laughs> rings. Down one check. Sweet. He oh, chucks him down. That's not it though. He gets the armor. Yo, Dalek's a god. 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 He's a god. He's a god. He's a god. He's a god. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Kiss my ass. Please make us down. He did it. He goddamn did it. He did it. No, because I'm astounded by the decision that was made right there. He did it. Holy what?